Tell me, computer. Deb? Yeah? I know where my recordings went into me. I, I cloud. I think I know where it went. It went in me cloud, not on my computer. That's why I had the problem. Okay. Well, I'm recording too, so we're both recording. Mm -hmm. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Gabrielle. Hello. Thank you, everyone. We're very honored to be able to do this, believe me. Hi, George. <clears throat> Deb, if you hear any banging, it means that me uh, sons can't watch the match. He's trying to live stream football and he keeps on, he's got a bit of an anger temper. <laughs> <laughs> Lydia, can you be our um, assistant today? Yep. Thank yes. you so much. Don't forget to put yourself down if you need healing. I share my food energy, love energy, support. <laughs> Yeah. Somebody's getting cranky. Who's getting cranky? Ziggy. Ziggy. <laughs> No, I don't hear him. Yeah, for a minute. Okay. It's been a long time, Lily. It's so good to see your face. You're on mute, honey. Oh, yeah. I'm so glad to, have, to be here. I have been looking for you, actually. I cannot find you, Debbie. Really? Yeah, I had, yeah, I had been looking for you, and I cannot find. And then... And then last week I said, I want to contact them. I want to join the group. I always watch your YouTube, but then I don't know how. But then this Facebook, it pop up the journey of. <laughs> I've been, po I post there every month, every month I post it. Yeah, but I cannot, I don't know why it, it uh, I cannot get connected. I don't know, but it pop up th th this week. I thought, so how you are, there you are. And so I take the time. Oh, thank wow. you very much. Thank you. Oh, maybe you were meant to see it this week. Yeah. And an hour ago, I would do, uh, like something want to stop. Like, no, don't, don't. Like, it's something that like, don't, don't do it. You can do it next time. But then, no, no, no. I said, no, no, no. I have been looking for this for so long. <laughs> it's so funny with me, Debbie, because there, there is something like, something will talk on my mind and it's something another one will respond yeah that is what i have noticed lately something will like discourage and then someone will respond like there are two yeah <laughs> there's two in my mind I think uh, i'm getting crazy i think i'm getting crazy uh, well it's it'll be a good day for you because we have philip here with us every month now too and i don't think you've met phil uh, Philip is a walk-in. He's Archangel Raphael, so he works with us every month. Look, I have, I have met him. I have met, I have met Raphael. You, you asked him about me last time. Okay. It was about my throat. Okay, good, good, good. I've met him. Yeah. Hi, Raphael. I we've been doing, been... we've been doing this together for a little over a year, so I can't remember who has met him or, and who has not. Okay. But um, go in the chat pane and and um. Put, uh, put down that you would like healing. So every, anybody who hasn't been to one of these sessions, please do that. So we'll start uh, now. Um, my name is Deb Purcell. This is my husband, Rick, and we are healers. My husband is merged with creator energy um, one day, an afternoon when he was by yeah. himself. Yeah. 
it was almost like a near death experience, but he wasn't sick. Uh, this light, white light came to him and merged his energies. And my husband was not even awake. He wasn't, didn't even know what a chakra was. <laughs> and this happened to him and blew his third eye and all of his uh, energies. And he became a healer at that point um, and wide awake. <laughs> he started seeing orbs and um, he started seeing beings walking through our bedroom, a cowboy in, excuse me, I gotta let somebody in. Uh, started seeing um, spiritual beings and dead people walking through our rooms, some were lost souls, uh, some were angels. Saw Jesus, uh, Jesus appeared next to him when he was brushing his teeth, uh, things like that. So um, the, way, the way our healing works is that um, I scan a person by seeing their face and then Deb will get the messages of what, what's going on and whether it's health related, um, past lives. So in this, uh, we'll just be doing healing. Yeah. Um, I won't be doing past lives yeah. unless it's pertinent. Yeah. Um, and uh, that's, yep. that's and it. Then, and then we have Phil. Phil? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Rick, did you have permission to talk to Source from Deb? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, for, um, I, I started hearing at four year old. Uh, I thought everyone had that ability because I just thought it was normal. I uh, could get contact the, uh, the weather basically, you know, the, es the, the essence of Earth. I, I contacted from the age of seven started uh, tackling demons at the age of nine. Uh, at 14, they left me alone. And I've been healing ever since. About 20 years ago, I got credited in healing. And a few years after, I got credited in my crystal healing. So I think we are always learning. Every event that we go on, we have something completely new. Uh, even surprises me. So it's a never ending learning ability, spirit, spiritual, all, all of it, all of it is ever, ever learning. And it surprises me. So, yeah, another one. Uh, my daughter might be here today or might not be, I don't know. <laughs> so I might get a okay. surprise. All right, the first one then. Uh, oh, uh, the other thing, sorry. I connect, for the knowledge, I connect to all my aspects. I've got a crystal source being Evra. Uh, I've got Merlin. Uh, I've got Moses, if I really want to. Um, uh, Raphael, obviously. Uh, and Hermes on Atlantis. So I, I get, gain my knowledge. I don't use Google. I gain it from them, mainly. So, okay. All right. So let us begin. Mm, Lily is first. I would like to have healing, please. Thank you much. Who is it? Lydia. Lily. Oh, Lily. Lily. Yes, I would like to have a healing. It has been such a long time. It's the attachments. You having problems with your neck, Lily? Mm hmm My hair. Yeah. Oh, yes, my neck. If 
two attachments. Were you vaccinated, Lily? No. Good. No, I did not. And I would not, I lost my job. Very good. <laughs> and I cannot go anywhere. I don't That's care. Fine. That's fine. Very good. <laughs> I don't care. Um. Your husband vaccinated? No. Good. No. Oh, my daughter, only my daughter, because she goes to school. Yeah. Ziggy's being a brat today, my bird. Um, I'm having a hard time if these are attachments or implants. Where are they? They don't seem, I don't think I've seen anything like these before. <laughs> Can you do something about him? Bill, do you see what I'm saying? Uh, can I just ask this question, Lily? Uh, have you had a fall in the last five years? Have you had an injury? Right, yes, Lily, have you, Lily, have you had an injury in the last five years? A fall? Mm, no. Any injury, don't have to be a fall. No, I cannot think of. But I fall on the chair, but there is no injury. Right. But I hurt my butt. I think it's just some negative energy, so I think you damage your aura field. It's around, there's something around her neck. There's something, I have this uh, removed in January, but there's still something there. What did you have removed? We removed. I have removed, um, like uh, a cyst, oh. a cyst. There are four of them here. And then um, I felt it again. But when I went to the doctor, it's nothing. There's nothing. But I feel it now and then. The year, it's there. <clears throat> I see something there, but I thought it was a, like a... Um, I thought it were attachments, two things, and now I can't see them. It's almost like, then I thought it was an implant and now, but there's something that is like wrapping around her neck and now it's, 
I can't see it. So it's, it comes and goes. So this is where it comes and goes with you. It's not yeah. all the time, but it's it, mm -hmm. it goes. Yeah. Sometimes it's there and sometimes it's gone. When I made a um, doctor appointment, it's gone. I even have this. <laughs> I even have this walnut, walnut oil. I will yeah. wipe it here. I wipe it here because of this. It almost seems like it's something that's around her that attaches to her and then leaves. So, and it comes. That's why I think it comes and goes. There's something there. I saw it on her. That's why I initially thought you had um, two um, two attachments, like two lost souls or some kind of attachments. And then I thought it were it was implants because now I can't. I, then I couldn't find them at all. That's why it comes and goes for you. Comes and goes. It's not an easy one, this one. This is where it's uh, to do with the timeline. Seems to go in and out. Yeah, it's so funny because it was, it's almost like there was this, how do I describe this? Like a cloud, like the sun going behind the cloud and it's there and then it was gone and it's there and then it's gone. Sometimes I would think that um, I would think that in my past life, I think I saw I was hanged. <laughs> I think I was hanged. Like I said, I think I was hanged or died hanging or what? Because there's well, really something. You've had many past lives. No, I did. I did say it, uh, it feels like your, your timeline. So it could be a. Uh, you on that life, you create a negative energy it's somehow coming into here and giving you the memory. And then going back out and then coming back in. So yeah, I, I, get, I also I, hate. I hate something on my neck. I cannot, like a scarf, I cannot, a necklace, I cannot. I said, I hate something on my neck when it touches my hair. I hate it. I, said, mm -hmm. I cannot do that. <laughs> so I really think, I was thinking, must I have died hanging? <laughs> yeah, I think it's an energy from a past life come, coming in and out. So yeah. if you just close your eyes and mm -hmm. think of the person you may have been, even if you can't see it, give, give mm -hmm. yourself a love and just say you need, you need it to go to source now, you need it to go. Yeah, and I'll, I'll give you a hand doing it. Uh, and just send yourself love and forgiveness about it happening. So just a few minutes.
How do you feel? I feel lighter. That was, yeah, that was intense. Like, it felt like something is holding my back and then pulling it, pulling it, pulling it. And now it's lighter. Mm. Mm -hmm. Did you see any of it? I saw a little bit of that actually. It was, it was connected. I think you hanged yourself accidentally. I don't think it was deliberate, but the pain and the anguish of what you left behind, the memories come through basically. And it comes through and goes back. You know, it's like mm -hmm. tied into world. Oh. Yeah. That was the energy. I've never, never experienced the energy. So you, you created the energy from that world, if you know. Yeah. Do you want a card, by the way? It's you want a tarot card? A, a tarot card. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I want a card. An oracle okay. card. <laughs> an oracle card. An oracle card. Okay. Tell us where. Stop. And it's serenity. Yeah. Wow. I can say it now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have it. Now. And, and that's basically the peace your, your peace of mind is within you. And it's probably just happened now, what we what we've just done together. Yeah. So. Maybe that's it. Yeah. Because I would always think that, there, that I was hung, that I died hanging. <laughs> you needed to let go. Yeah, you just need to like that's it really I was always thinking I must have died of hanging. <laughs> I Deb, I have got tarot cards. It's Alistair Crowber's originals, if you like me to do one of them. <laughs> I see I know nothing about cards. I really don't. I won't loan it to you. I don't I don't have any. I I've never I've never purchased them. I've never I don't know I don't know anything about them. If I want a card, I go to you. <laughs> <laughs> Good okay, thank you very much. Now I have ser serenity. Mm. I have peace from this. It is. It, that's basically what it means. It has, it's angelic guitar giving you a bit of advice, and you've got peace within yourself. Mm. Right? So mm. the you got your past life's got peace. You've just mm -hmm. removed a lot of it. Sounds great. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you, Phil. Mm. Good thank you. Thank you, Rick. You're welcome. Good seeing you. Good seeing you, Lily. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm glad to be here again. Thank you. You're welcome. The, the next person, which was earlier, the first one, is Davina. Davina. Hi, everyone. Can you Hi. share? Are you able to share? Do I need to give you permission to share? Oh, there's her mom. What's her first name? Mei Ling. M E I L I E N. Mei Ling. Is there anything pacific, anything pacific she needs healing um, on? Her heart and lung, because she's using the inhaler and also her spine, because she's having um, difficult walking. Mm -hmm. She's vaccinated. Yeah, she's vaccinated by Johnson Johnson. You want me to remove the, uh, not the eye, eye is good part of it? Obviously. Yes, because that was request and ordered by her doctor. So, no comment. I know. Thank 
She has shoulder pain as well. Yes. She has a pain all over her body. So yeah, even, of... in, even in the arm. I even got it here. It's a bit strange. All right. Okay. You want her to have a card as well? Yes, please. Tell as well. No. Serenity as well. <laughs> I do shuffle them, you know. <laughs> I, I've just got one card. That's a good one. Yeah, peace of mind. The work's still being done on you, Mum. The when did she have Johnson and Johnson? Back in June, June or July, I yeah, believe. It's been well, it's embedded, if you know what I mean. So, but one of my aspects is still sorting it out now. So she's still having healing now. Okay. Okay. I'll just let leave her to it. Yeah. So, I'm not saying what she said about the doctor because she's got my vulgarity. So. You know, I, I want her back in February. Don't take any vaccine, but you know, she said her doctor ordered. I said, okay, fine. Because he gets <laughs> we get paid for it, don't we? That's why. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Next one. Next one is Georgie. No, I would like to no, scan no, 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 Tr no. Tracy. <laughs> Tracy? Tracy's before George. Ah, okay. So grateful for you all and doing this. I'm extremely depleted and have been in bed, uh, in bed much. Your help is appreciated. Hello, thank you. Hi, yeah. <laughs> Hi, Tracy. It's good to see you guys, Phil. Yeah, yeah. Love, love to see you. <laughs> is this the first time you've been on one of these? On this one, anyway. Um, yeah, this is the first time I've been on one of these. Um, and I left the shamanic path, Phil, just so you know. Um, I'm starting something else. I don't know what it is, but so, yeah. Anyway, um, I was hospitalized in in 2019 with sepsis. And so I have these waves that come over me of illness and I'm currently in one. <laughs> um, I think I took on someone else's energy, but um, yeah, it's taken me down for about uh, almost two weeks now. So, yeah. Okay. Well, so you want, yeah, Deb can scan you and I, I'll give you some energy. Yeah. I'll try and get rid of, whatever you you know the recurring problem hey tracy can you speak so my husband and i can see you yes Your energy thank you yeah i'm there here thank okay. you so much all right uh, father's going right to your lungs and i do have subglottic stenosis so my throat's partially closed so i can't breathe most of the time anyway normally yeah so. yeah Okay. It's going to your brain. Did you have a trauma? Um, no, no TBIs, no traumatic brain injuries. Um, might be lack of oxygen. Um, I was also like when I was hospitalized, I was brutally attacked in the hospital. My thymus was hit, but um, and then I had lung or kidney issues. But um, yeah, I don't know about the brain. I've done a, a hell of a lot of work on myself, <laughs> as Phil knows. I mean, as a shaman, celestial shaman, that's what I used to do. So yeah. yeah there's, um, there's an issue he's repairing with your brain fantastic your brain talk your brain talking to the rest of your body 
he's doing some repairs there. That makes, that makes sense. Also it has to do with your throat, he's showing me. Yeah. I wouldn't doubt it. I've had surgery on it too to open it up, but it closes again with the scar tissue. Phil, go ahead. Mm -hmm. You were saying. I mean, I'm just saying it makes sense if you've got problems with your kidney and everywhere. Obviously, your brain's not quite doing its job. Yeah. It should be telling the body, it should be repairing it. And then... Yeah, it, it's the electronics in your brain that's needed repair. So he's repairing the electronics in your brain and now he's going down into the back of your head, into the spine area. And he's also doing some changes into the electronics going down into your spine, which will also affect the rest of your body. So you may feel a warmth or a vibration going down into your back, the back of your neck, all the way down your spine, all the way to the root. You may feel this warmth on your spine because he's good. there's also electronics going down your back that he's making changes. That whole, your brain, your spine, all the electronics are all, are all connected. So he's doing repairs. Thank you. So the nerves are all there connected. You might feel a, a powerful energy going into you at the moment. I'm I'm feeling it. I'm also getting emotional. So or I was. You're also going to feel a, a mineral from Sirius that everybody's getting that has not received it yet going through your crown. This mineral is a gift from father to everyone on earth. I don't know what the mineral does, um, but it's something that's gonna stay in your system throughout the, your, the rest of your human life. Okay. And it'll, uh, it'll stay, it, it, uh, don't know what it's for. He hasn't revealed that to me, but uh, he says everyone will know when it's, when it's activated, but it goes, it, it stays in your, your system, your biological system. And goes through your bloodstream into your muscles, your bones, your and um, your tendons, everything. Everyone that has not that's here today is getting it right now that has not received it in prior healing sessions and your animals any pets in your house are also receiving it you have a bad back as well it's fine back. um no not that i'm aware of phil um i mean i used to have chronic pain but i healed that because it was mostly implants and inflammation from that, mm. so. I might have just took some off me. Can you take a deep breath and see how you're feeling? I, I'm actually connecting. I've not done this before, but I might as well. I'm, I've connected to the Vandara crystals to become a grid. I'm giving you some energy from them. So. Okay, but, I have an Andara here. Um, maybe you can connect it with that too. How are your lungs feeling? How's your throat feeling? I'm feeling really good. Thank you. This healing lasts for a week. Okay. And then it just it gets absorbed inside. It continues, which is a 
to drink some nice drink, drink water this week to flush out anything that's needs to be removed. Okay. Phil's continuing. I'll wait for, no, no, for him to get. Uh, the pain in the back, you you dumped it down. You spiritually dumped the pain down so you could feel it. And it's just transferred over. <laughs> if you know what I mean, you block the pain. It's just it's pretty good to do that. But I've not I've now removed it, if you know what I mean, into me. So oh thank you. Yeah, see you, you spiritually you can block pain and still have it, but not feel it, if you know what I mean. Oh, okay. That's, 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 what, that's what I did with my ankle when I broke my ankle and blew up me, uh, told me Achilles. Doctors can't, still can't believe I walked for seven weeks on it. So. <laughs> Got a card? Yes. I love cards. Yeah. Well, tell us when. Oh, stop. What? When? When to oh, stop? When to, oh, I don't, I didn't know. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, stop. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, divine timing. That's a good one, isn't it? Yeah. Excellent. Y your prayers are being answered by universal law. So, how about you? Yeah. Oh. The the energy of the even the energy I'm giving you will carry on for about another hour. Okay. Yeah, so that's what I've been told. Anyway. Blessings to all of you. Thank you so yeah. so much. I'm so honored to participate. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. For coming in. Yeah. Hopefully, your energy is back, or will be back by morning. Yeah. Fabulous. Okay. Next one. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Georgie, I would like to have scan and healing. Hello. Hi. Hey, Georgie. Uh, it's great to connect with you. Um, yeah, I would like a healing. Okay. Rick, you ready? Yeah. Do you have an infection? Really? Um, I don't know. I see an infection. doing healing on the I show it an infection in the lower half of your body um, mm -hmm.
This is showing you have maybe a lower back problem. Mm. Yeah, around your the lower spine area, your uh, around your your hips and your root chakra area. Your hips are not even. Uh, your spine needs to be straightened a little bit. You may mm. have you may have a, a cyst down there. Oh. I think you do have a cyst. I'm gonna remove the cyst. Thank you. Straighten the spine. Your back may, may feel warmth and the whole spine going all the way up to the back of your neck, going across your shoulders. There's some, there's some discs that are bulging. To heal those, you have some issues with the back of your neck. Do you have worry? Are you worried about something at the moment? It's not important. Mm, I feel anxious, yeah, but I don't know why. Yeah, because I'm getting an headache as well. I'm also getting mm. manifesting the, the illnesses that Deb's saying. Your the negativity in your head is actually creating it, if you know what I mean. So you mm. need to release this worry. Uh, the best way of doing that is... Uh, Best way of doing that is, is go with nature, trees, mm. country, like, get, get going with that. But I can feel it, it on the left side, the headache. And I can feel it's 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 like a stress. But you don't know what it yes. is, but you can feel it. But you just... I feel worried. I feel anxious, but I don't, I, I don't know why. Yeah. Yeah. But it, it's creating this stress and it's releasing. And the things that Deb said, this is what it can create. Worry, mm. worry in the air can create if it's not released. Meditation and going with the thing. I've released it now into me. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, and uh, it should be okay, but you just got, got to find a way of releasing it. Yeah. So, okay. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'll just give you some more healing because I've, I've, I've worked it out where it is now, so I'll just release mm -hmm. this. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not sure why. Uh, did you feel that? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Drink a lot of water this week. The healing energy stays with you for another week. Perfect. Thank you very much. Do you, um, do you want a card? Yep, sure. We'll give you a card. Thank you. Yeah, there's a few entering now. Is that okay, do you think? Okay. Stop. stop. You said stop. Yep. Huh. It's uh, children. 
And what that means, have more fun. That's exactly what, really, what we were saying, mm. weren't we? Enjoy yourself, go in the country, go in the trees, and, and have more fun with your inner child. Yeah. It makes sense, actually. Yeah. I think that's what's creating the stress because uh, you're not re releasing fun part, having a good time. Yeah. Mm. I have also been working a lot, so maybe I'm thinking about work a lot. And maybe that's yeah. right. I have that problem. <laughs> you need to <laughs> do the other side as well. Uh, enjoy yourself somewhere. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, that's what so I, I, the work is creating the stress too much. Mm. Yeah. And it's manifesting into illness. So you, you can stop it now by, by just going out and enjoying yourself. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, everybody. You're welcome, George. Uh, next one is uh, Linda Lowe. I have had a huge block for years and feel inter uh, interference. Never have had any abundance and flow despite holding lots of gifts and talents. Linda Lowe. Lin Hi, Linda. Hi. Blocks. I don't feel any blocks. Do you feel any blocks, Phil? Yeah, she thinks she's got block. She thinks she's got blocks, so she's blocking herself because she no, I meant, she's got I meant I meant I don't feel any. That's the block. That's, yes, that's the actual block. Well, yes, I know that, but I meant I didn't feel any. No. no. Other than the one she's putting herself in. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, Linda, we're our, our owner's worst enemy. And we do it to ourselves. Linda, do you want some healing, by the way? Yes, yes, please. Uh, you might get a download back on this one. Just, okay. to, just to help you on your uh, self-blocking yeah. system. Yeah, I'm feeling a lot of energy around my solar plexus just now. So I want a mix of Anxiety. Linda, every one of us have, have, are, we're so much harder on ourselves than we should be. You have to put yourself first. You know, especially women, we tend to put others before ourselves because that's the way our mothers did. Our mothers always made sure that everybody else was fine and then we sat down and took care of ourselves last. When, but when your mother got sick, there was no one to take care of her. It should be the other way around because she was the one that cooked all the meals and cleaned the house. And then a lot of times, like uh, we, 
we, we go out and we're the, a lot of single mothers, they're the breadwinners. You have to take care of yourself first so that you can take care of others. And that's the way it should be. You have to feed yourself first, feed your, your spiritual self in order for you to grow. So love yourself like creator loves you. You are perfect to him. There's nothing you can do to change his mind about that. Nothing, nothing. You cannot cut the cord because it's impossible to do that. Every breath you take, you're connected to your creator. Every single one. So know that there's nothing you can do to, to sever that cord. Know that you don't, you could do the worst hyenas act out there and he's still going to love you and thank your perfection. Even these murderers, he mm -hmm. still loves them and thinks they're perfect. They're on their worst day. That's not going to change. We create our own karma. We judge ourselves. There's no judgment on the other side. There's only love. So if that's the case, why are we so hard on ourselves? Trust in the gifts that you're given. Trust that you're going to be fine. Trust that you're okay. There's nothing wrong with you. Nothing. You, you, say, you came here and volunteered just like the rest of us. So if you came here and volunteered, you definitely have a whole suitcase full of things that you haven't even opened up yet. Talk to your guides and let them know. Find my joy. Give them a job to do. And open my toolbox. Give me my gifts. Let's go. Trust me enough that they're going to do that for you. Put them to work. Yeah. <laughs> do you want a card, Linda? Um, yes, please. Tell us when. When? It's dreams. Oh, interesting. You know, I was going to say, I was actually going to say uh, you'll be sent messages from the download for your dreams. But it's, that's what the card means. You'll be sent messages in your dreams. So learn from them. See the signs. Yeah. And then you can move forward. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very yeah. much. You're never alone. The, the, never other, the, alone. Other, the other thing is anything that creates negativity can also help with blocking you as well. So just uh, make sure you don't have any enemies, no anger, no pain, uh, and eat well. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank, thank you very much, guys. Thank, thank you. you. Next one is Frankie. Hi, everyone sending so much love. May I please get a scan and healing? I want to ensure I'm on shed, uh, schedule to ascend. Also, we just signed the year lease from, uh, for a house. Want to ensure no more portals and protection. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hi, Frankie. Hi, guys. Hi. Uh, How are you? Okay, Where is she? All I see is Phil. Can you see me? There yeah. we go. <laughs> <laughs> so nice to be here. Thanks, you guys. You're welcome. What did we do last time? Last time you removed a, well, the, one of my dogs were upset. So you removed a portal that was in my house. That's it. I knew it was something special. Yeah. And then, um, I think you gave me a download. Yeah. I think you gave them uh, a download. And um, um, I'm not sure if I, uh, I think you gave me all kinds of stuff. I mean, the list is long, you know, I'm sure. It, you can't even explain it with words because <laughs> my heart, you know. I, I, I just remembered a lot. Yeah, a lot happened last time. Okay. You want to see if the portal's there. Uh... 
Yeah, I want to see if I could get a scan too for my body. And um, because my husband um, got the vax in August, and I, you know, I, I see different changes with him. It's interesting, but um, I don't know if that if that created the portal or not too. But I uh, I think it's getting better. But um, I just want to make sure like <clears throat> that I'm okay. Like I know I'm okay, but I just want to make sure that the energy within me is on point that I need to. Yeah, I don't even know if I'm sense right now i hope you know but uh just to make sure that it the last three months have been really challenging but it's gotten a lot better since the last time i saw you guys and how you cleared the portal um and it's gotten uh where it's more, like i'm more connected um you know but i but since my husband has has gotten the vaccine i want to make sure that because the energy that comes in and out is just uh it's interesting Mm. Well, uh, I was healing a family member, and uh, well, it was a family member. Oh, and, Deacon, my son, as well. And uh, yeah, I was going to say, and uh, he had a pulse where he got vaccinated. That's very interesting. Yeah. So I, I've deleted all that. Uh, so I'll check you out now, and I'll do some of them. Yeah. <sighs> Frankie, can you talk again? Uh, yes, ma'am. Um, hi. I'm not getting anything to heal on you. Nothing. Nothing's changed since the last time we did healing. So that means that you don't need any more healing. Um, you have something about ascension. Yeah, I know that we already did, didn't we? Like, that's what I'm hearing, that we already did. We came back from the... I don't know. Sometimes I just, I, I just want to make sure that I'm okay that I am on target. <laughs> I know it sounds so silly because I know I am, but it's like yeah. so weird. Don't, you're new, aren't you at this? You're kind of new at, at, at waking up, right? Um, I don't think so. I'm an ancient being, I've been told, but. Uh, don't but worry it's, about it. Yeah. <laughs> don't worry about it. You said we're all going to ascend. <laughs> I know it's like all this pressure sometimes. It's like, what do we do? Like, you know, what there, is we no, there should be no pressure. There should be none. 
that you have nothing to worry about. <laughs> the only people that are not going to ascend are the are the ones that have chosen their their path to go, you know, on the the dark side. Okay, and you know, even there, there's even that they're they're still going to go someplace, but you know, they're gonna they're gonna go into a three a three D type of place. If they're not, nobody's nobody's lost. Sure. To, to you know, <laughs> they chose. Even even the dark ones chose this this life the, the the dark path to so that we all have an opportunity to have an experience you know to understand we're all here for the experience so they said okay I'll I'll do it I'll do this experience as a dark the, on the dark side so that you guys can have this experience they all made an agreement to do this you know imagine being you know a pedophile in this life, I would want to play that path, that role. They all agreed to play a role. Yes, I totally. Believe it. This is life. You know, this this isn't your real life. It's not my real life. I truly, it's I truly believe. I don't want to experience the darkness anymore. <laughs> I I'm, I'm good. I just want to be up and you know travel and go through the <laughs> galaxies and just spread my rainbow, you know, glitter everywhere. <laughs> well, I know, but this, this, we never stop learning. And that's what we're, this is, is, is to learn and to raise our bar, raise our, our vibration. By doing these experiences, we raise our vibration and learn. Do you want um, to do? Do you know, like, who, like you know, some how you know that you're who you're working with, and obviously Phil knows who he's working with. But I just, who, who do, how do you find out who who you are working with? I think Metatron is working with me now, but I, I don't. I mean, I know you can ask my guys, but you know, like it's like amazing, like the gifts that you can see. You know what I mean? And I, I know that I can see, but I just can't. It's, I feel like there's just, I want it to be so that I can really see, like, I know, I feel it. it, it you know, I just, is there ever going to be a time when we are human that we're going to actually know all the answers and see? Yes. <laughs> Frankie, don't try so hard. Okay. <laughs> never try so hard. Uh, your house uh, had some negativity. I think that's from... Uh, it could even be from your son and your husband, actually. So that's been cleared. You yourself, as Deb said, you're fine. Nothing wrong there. You, you, you're actually shielding it <laughs> somehow. So you, you can, you're can actually shielding the negativity, but that's been cleared anyway. I think it'll just come again and again. You, you just, you know, you're fine. Uh, about the gifts you've got, uh, just don't try hard. They come, and the aspects that I explained, they come in different stages. Uh, the first one that came was, my guardian was Doman when I was about three or four. And then Merlin came when I was seven or eight to connect. And then uh, the next one was Ermi. So they come in stages. They didn't all come in one go. It was yeah, and good. you have to be ready. They're not going to give you these. They're not going to come until you're ready for them. But, yeah. you know, and don't, don't go by Phil, because he's... <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah. I know. Don't, follow, don't go by Phil's because he's actually a walk-in angelic, and <laughs> none of us are like Phil. <laughs> uh, okay. No, oh, clearly we're not. not. We're all the same. All the same. We're not all the same. Everybody's different. <laughs> so just kind of go with that. Is, <laughs> <laughs> see the signs it's going to be according to how what how you are hmm. as a, you know your individual path there's no <laughs> right or wrong on this oh, good grief i know a couple of birds i'm going to throw in the backyard in a minute <laughs> every time i had the wow moment i wasn't expecting it and i call them wow moments something that's spiritual it's unbelievable uh to reality if you know what i mean but you, they don't come. They don't come when you want them to come. They just all of a sudden they're there, yeah. and oh. you think there's no other explanation. Yeah. 
Yeah. We're getting loads of people coming in. I hope it's not, not one of our. Yeah. Okay. Do you want a card, by the way? Sure. Thank you. Yeah. I'm, I'm the person pressing the button to bring people in at the moment. <laughs> um, stop. Uh, serenity. <laughs> Seems to be the message <laughs> for today. <laughs> <laughs> serenity yeah. now! Serenity now! <laughs> Peace within you. Yeah. And I, I remember that without even thinking that. <laughs> it's coming too often. Yeah. Thank uh, you. Mm. The portals aren't there. They've gone. That's good. Yes, thank you. Okay. The next one is Tashina Bajit Thomas. May I have a scan and healing love, love and light to all. Tashina, I think, yeah. Tashina. We know Tashina. Hi, Tashina. She there? I hope so. She's still here? I don't know. Maybe she left? Yeah. I'm I checking. Feel. I don't feel. She's probably gone. Okay. Oh, well. Okay, Sorry. then. Next one. Is Delit. Delit R. Uh, I think he, he, he wants scan and healing. Hello, yes. This is Delit. Ah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hi. Delise, is that your name? Delise, that's my name. Yes. yes, thank you. Like a as well. There have been things that I've been wanting to do for years. It's just uh, um, they can be done. <laughs> thank you. It's good to meet you. Nice to meet you all of you as well. Thank you so much for the work you do. Delise. Have you been sick with a fever? Uh, with fever? Fever. Um, fever. Yeah. Um, not much, but I've been, I've been ill these last days, yes, with a, with a bad cold. You don't mind me asking if you've had the vaccine, do you? have you? No, no, okay. I don't want to. Good. It's just that the reason I asked everyone, it's just in case I get any negativity from it, that's all. You may feel some warmth going through your body. Uh, yes, sometimes they make me kind of feel tired and I want to do things, but then drown all the yeah. time. We're going through your crown right now, bringing a warmth through your body. You've got a little bit of a, a virus going on. Um, yeah. So they're put, we're putting energy through your body to clear it of the virus in your bloodstream. So you may feel a, um, an energy going through you. Thank you, sir. It kind of looks like um, it's like a rainbow energy. It's almost like a unicorn colors. Beautiful. 
it looks like the unicorn horn going through your body. Unicorn shaped. <laughs> Unicorn horn going through her body. That sounds kind of evil, doesn't it? <laughs> it's the shape of the horn. His deal is today. That's a, that's Zeus. Mm -hmm. Going into your bladder, it looks like your bladder also needs some healing. You have a lot of back pain. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I've been having back pains on and off. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just drawing a lot of it out. Just trying to work out why. So. Sometimes I think it's like a blockage or something. Mm -hmm. Because I did have some tests and it seems like it's normal. Mm -hmm. So I've been thinking that they got negative. Maybe some blockage things. Negativity. I've been trying to clear out and meditate. Yeah, I've got a lot of gifts spiritually, and mm. I think this is a. And you can do this. Uh, I think it is a past life. Your back pain is a memory. Mm. It's not negative as such. It's just the memory. It's coming forward. Mm. Uh, you also got an angelic aspect. Yeah, um, Deb, Deb yeah. normally says that, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you connect it to the angelic in you. Yes, yes, I, I, I like to do that as well. Yeah. Yeah. Me and I've been, I've been trying to yeah. to train for that as well. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Gabriel. Archangel Gabriel. No, I didn't um, ask. <laughs> huh? I didn't ask. <laughs> what you say? Gabriel. Oh, he, he, he's my favorite one, actually. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, when I meditate, I do see uh, angels. Uh, mm. They're the signs, time. yeah. Definitely. Because you're what? You, you're one of them. That's because you you're one of them. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Maybe that's why I have that feeling of helping others as well as you do. 
that's very well, you have to help yourself first you have to be exactly. healthy and take care of yourself first exactly that's what i'm doing now i'm trying to help myself i start to meditate well, believe me to you're meditate. surrounded you're surrounded you have many oh i think maybe they're trying to help me so someday i can help others as well someday <laughs> Hopefully. you have a whole <laughs> toolbox you have a whole toolbox believe me um, you have thank you so much <laughs> Thank you so, so much. Do you want a card? <laughs> An oracle card? Uh, yes, uh, just this year, so a few months ago, I started uh, buying oracle cards for the first time in my life because I I felt like like I, I it's something that I can do, <laughs> even though I've never tried before. But you can, I, you I can do a lot more than that. You have a lot of, you've got a lot lot of lot in your toolbox yeah definitely no. I, i've been looking for a pack of oracle for cards for two years and then i realized one of my packs is an oracle set of uh, for 20 years <laughs> I, I really <laughs> right tell us when if you want one card from the angels just say stop okay does that stop stop mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, I'm not surprised actually. Uh, power. 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 Yeah, do you want to say it again? Ooh. You have the power of the creator. It's a divine love intelligence that's available to you. You can use this to see the future with the angels. So it's an, like an angel kind of sort of thing. Oh, that's, oh, that's awesome. Thank you so much. I'm so excited okay. to hear that. Thank you so, Thank so you. much. No problem. Thank you. Nice to meet Next one is Eat Halar Sharan. I would like to have a healing, please. I don't speak English well. Thank you. What's the name? Eat Halar Sharan. Uh, She's there. Yeah. <laughs> Italar? Yes. Yeah. Where are you? you speak with that. We have to see your face so I can um we can yeah. read your energy. You need to speak so Deb can see you. Tell her, say something. Okay. okay. There hey. we go. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Sorry. It's all right. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'm... I... Okay. Do you, under... Do you understand uh, my... it? My earphone, sorry. Okay. Do you understand English? Yeah, uh, a little. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Okay, I'm trying to explain. Uh, I'm feeling depressed, and I try to sleep a lot, and but it's not normal to me. I'm only sleep for five hours a day, but the last time I tried to sleep 10 hours, eight hours, and I feel completely lost. And I gain a lot of weight. And suddenly I discover in my right, uh, uh, tie. Uh, bo uh, I think it's a burn, but I don't think it is. I think I'm under attack for black magic. Where do you live? In Mexico City. 
This burn, did, did this come overnight when you were asleep? I don't sleep in the night. I am asleep all day. Yeah, what I'm saying is this burn, did it just appear after sleep? Sorry, sorry for, can uh, you repeat, please? Yeah, it's okay. When you when you, you said you had a burn, you you've got a burn on your on your part of your body somewhere. Did you wake up to it? No. When I uh, when I wake up, I'm discovered this one. Um, <sighs> okay, sorry. And a month ago, I discovered to scratch in my both tights. Mm -hmm. When I woke up, I think I am attacked when I'm asleep. It could be, you, I think. It, it could be Astro Travel and you brought it back. That's quite possible. Look at my phone. Okay. Uh, do you speak Spanish? Yes. Okay. Okay. I'm trying to speak English, but it's not it's, very it's well. Okay. You know? It's okay. It's okay. I'm going to see if my uh, a relative can join us. She speaks Spanish. No, oh, thank you. I am bilingual. If you guys need me to translate for her, I could. Oh, uh, wonderful. Beautiful. Carlos, <laughs> uh, ask her. Uh, Phil wants to know if she if she woke up with this uh, burn after sleeping. Phil, ¿quieres saber si te despertaste con esa marca en tu pierna después de que te despertaste? Bueno, eh, durante, cuando te despertaste. Yo supongo que sí, porque no lo tenía y de repente comencé con mucha comezón y me rascaba. Pero no lo había visto después de como tres días que sentía yo mucho ardor, porque es, en la, part, es la parte del muslo, la parte de atrás. Ajá. Y ya Cuando lo vi se ve se ve como como quemado muy rojo pero es una okay. parte demasiado grande. Okay, so she said that uh, uh, when she was sleeping she was feeling like itching itchiness and then when she woke up it looked like a burn and it's like a pretty large um, area in her in her back thigh and yeah that she that's that's what's been happening what happened. Has she seen anything in her room, like a, an insects or anything like that? ¿Has visto algún insecto o cualquier otra cosa en tu cuarto o donde duermes? Uh, insectos, pues a veces duermo con la puerta abierta y pues, a lo más que he visto son moscos. Uh -huh. Pero por insectos no. <laughs> Otro okay. tipo de insectos como arañas o eso, no, y mi gatita no tiene pulgas. Oh, okay. Um, she says no. The the only well, she does sleep with her window open sometimes. Um, and she's seen uh, like flies, but that's the only insect. And she has a cat as well. So. Okay. No. Um, I was I was thinking more. Uh, does she? Does she? Can she is she clairvoyant at all? Does she see anything spiritual or um, uh, not? Like, can she does she see anything in the spiritual realm at all? Okay. Uh, Tienes algún tipo de habilidad uh, de clarividencia que pueda sentir o percibir este algún tipo de energías o ver cosas? Sí. De repente, sí. Cuando, cuando estoy en la noche, sobre todo que estoy en la cocina sola. Eh, tengo, eh, hay un pasillo y de repente yo veo como sombras y siento que me están observando. Eh, cuando yo me baño, 
es cuando hago viajes astrales y a veces pues veo entidades, pero generalmente quien me viene a ver, mucho, bueno, me ha venido a ver muchas veces, es la pareja de mi llama gemela, o sea, su novia, que es su kármica, y es una, es una reptiliana. Y viene y me amenaza y, y ha tratado de matarme, ya tiene como cuatro años, que me, me ha herido seriamente. Y creo que es ella, estoy segura que es ella. Ok. She is clairvoyant. Um, she does seem, at night she sees like shadows. And then she has uh, a friend's girlfriend uh, comes to visit her, to attack her. And she says that uh, this person, well, that she's sure that this person is the one that's been doing this to her. Uh, she has a very reptilian uh, energy to her. Yeah, I was actually going to say that you're getting spiritually attacked. I was going to say that, but you've already said it. And yes, you are being spiritually attacked. So uh, it's like you, uh, you get what I'm saying, do you? Dice que si te estás atacando energéticamente y que, pues que sí, tú misma te contestaste tu tu pregunta, tu respuesta, tu respuesta. Ah, okay. I think it's a bit like witchcraft. Do you, I'll connect to your energy field, your heart chakra, then I'll connect to whoever's doing it and I'll get rid of it, okay? Se va a conectar con tu chakra del corazón y te va a ayudar a removerlo, okay? Muchas gracias. Thank you. You might actually feel it. Dad, can you scan her as well, please? What'd you say? Scanner, can you yeah. scan her? Oh, yes. Scanner. Yes. I see black widow spiders around her. You might see Delman as well. That's why I asked her if she could see any insects. Mm Okay. 
still see him. Mm-mm. Now, as soon as I said I saw them, I started I started seeing him remove them. <laughs> yeah, you should be okay now. You've got a protection on you as well, so they won't be able to see you. But the person who is wishing, who's doing the witchcraft, I'd say, uh, was probably not doing it deliberately deliberate. Didn't think it'd work, but it, you know, you can manifest anything in uh, when you do spiritual, so you should be okay now. Yeah. And you ya tienes, que, ya tienes que estar bien y protegida. Este, dice que la persona que puede que no te estés haciendo eso um, de alrededor, que puede que tú a través de ella lo estés manifestando también. Así que yo diría que dejaras el miedo y que ya tienes que estar protegida. Ok, gracias. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. You're welcome. You're welcome. Do you want a card? Yes, please. Tell them when to stop. Okay. Stop. Yes, which card? (laughs) Yeah, serenity. Serenity. I'll just check my pack to see because it's just serenity. Well, you know, it's a perfect card for her. It is. Yeah, peace within you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Can't make mistakes. They're all good. <laughs> okay, uh, next one. Hi, Rick, Deb, and Phil. Please may I ask for healing for my sister Sharon, who has been seriously ill. I have photo of her and I have asked her permission and she's fine with it. Thank you in advance, Kat. Get yeah, you I did miss. You, yeah, just one sec. You did miss Davina, but we'll do Davina after. No, we already did Davina. Yeah, we already did. Did we do a mum? Yes. <laughs> we if did Davina do. Wants, I'll happily wait, my, uh, Phil. That's fine. Yeah, we didn't do her. No, that's fine. Let's do Davina. That's oh, fine. hold on. No, it does say a mum. Sorry, I think she's put a message twice. No, no, no. It was for her mum. Yeah. Davina, do you, do you need some healing? No, oh, thank you. Because I thought, you know, um, cause, okay. yeah, because I was putting the first one and they, you know, the, the order was messed up. So that's why I posted again. So no right. worry. Oh, okay. Perfect. Perfect. So I don't know if you can see my sister. Can you? Yeah. This is my sister, Sharon. She's recently had emergency surgery. So okay. she really needs a lot of help at the minute. Can you see it? Okay, I had to make up again. Yeah. That's her looking extremely well. She certainly isn't right now. Yeah. Hang on just a second, don't you? Yeah, I can tell you what her surgery was, or would you prefer just to scan for now? I'll just scan her for now. Okay, that's fine. Thank you. Uh, Okay. Okay, you can leave it down now. It's okay.
He's taking me to her heart. Did they put stints in her heart? No, they haven't. No. But her heart is secondary to what's going on. Maybe they need to, though. No, he's going to repair her heart. Oh, that's really appreciated. I'll explain why in a minute. It's going to her lungs. Her Her respiratory system, her her circulatory system. It's like he's doing a flush. She needs it. Yeah, she needs it. Yeah. He's doing this flush through her, making sure there's no blood clots and it's clearing her lungs and Repairing the electronics on her heart and her arteries, clearing her arteries out and right. the arteries in her neck. Okay. The problem's lower down, but yeah. It will be a, a side effect. Would it help if I told you? Or? No, he's oh, no, that's fine. Sorry. I'll that's fine. That's fine. It's going to her brain. Yeah, okay. Going to the back of her head and making adjustments and some of the electronics in her brain down her back, back here, and down yeah. back of her head, and down her back into her spine. Okay. All the way down her back to her root chakra and making changes in her the electronics in her spine mm -hmm. that affect her nerves in her body.
Let's go into her throat and doing healing in her throat. That makes sense at the minute. She has a tube in in a minute that's irritating her. She's very, very small. And I keep trying to give her adult stuff when she's child size. You got a stent? Yeah. yeah. She hasn't got a stent, but she's just got a, a tube. Got the stomach and yeah. the other way. Yeah, he was just going to her stomach next. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's very weak in manager. She is very weak, you're right. not telling me what her surgery was. I can tell you, James, if you want to. And now. Was it a kidney or something? It, it, it basically, her, it's linked to her bowel, but her intestines were twisted twice and drop, uh, stopping the blood supply to her bowel. Mm -hmm. but, she, but what you need to know is, which is relevant, Deb, is that they all these years, 30 years more, um, they thought she was anorexic. She's four stone at the minute. So um, she hasn't got much to fight with, but she's never really eaten at all. Well, now we thought she was anorexic, but now we can tell that all these twists in her bowel meant it was too painful to eat. They've actually, the surgery um, unraveled it, intestines, and now I've attached it to the stomach wall. But um, her, her bowel is like, oh, that's what I'm supposed to do after 30 years. So she's very poor, really. But... <coughs> yeah. So yeah. anything that could kickstart her. Well, her... Reinforcing. What's what's happened is when she starts eating, the heart is going to be in shock because she's eating again. Yeah. All of these things are going to be go into like overdrive because of this. Mm -hmm. So. It's all in preparation for her to go back to normal, like a normal human would eat. Right. But they do say that anorexics uh, do have problems with their heart, don't they? Yeah. So she so, has very much the symptoms of anorexia, but she actually, she would argue she hasn't been. And all this, all this time, 30 yeah. years more, her intestines yeah. have been twisted in all the wrong places. So she just couldn't bear oh, the sad. thought of it. So really bad. She's had so many scans and it was missed over and How over. How could they have missed that? No idea. Crazy. We're going to, we're going to sue them basically because this is outrageous. But um, you know, Crazy. her body's she yeah, all she's living on at the minute is custard and ice cream. She can't eat, eat, and she's got a tube down her throat, which is why she's having problems yeah. with what you said about the throat. Yeah. Yeah. But they're trying not to put a feeding foot tube in, but she's a long journey to heal, I think. Hopefully not. Hopefully. Well, I'm trying to avoid the second. I'm worried that they may need to go back in again. I'm mm -hmm. not sure she'll survive that. That's why I'm asking no. guys. No, they shouldn't have to go in again. That would be great. Are you picking up anything, Phil? What are you seeing? I was just seeing that she's so weak. I've had to give her a lot of energy. I do think this is an experience that she asked for. She did. I got the same message. Yeah. I got the for 30, same. 40 years, really. God, wow. Yeah. yeah. Did you get she's the other so did you get the other message of who she is? No, I haven't got that. Who is she? Well, who asked for all these weird illnesses and, and things to go through in their lives but an angel? Wow, okay. And which angel are you saying she is? She's an angelic. She's not one of the um, archangels, but angelics that come here, many of them think that um, all of these these illnesses that they asked to experience are a piece of cake. <laughs> wow. Well, she's definitely she not angelic. a piece of She has been so, so, so ill for so long, really. And you can't say yeah. which one at this time, no? 
she is an angel. Yeah. She'll, okay. she'll no, go no, back. I just, you yeah. just said, because you said archangel. Yeah. I wasn't sure. Which one uh, she's she not an about. archangel. She's just, she's an angelic. Well, that's wonderful. Wow. But her guide, and I know people that have this, is a nun. And usually they go through tough lives if they have a nun as their guide. She's been through a very tough time. My other question, guys, and, and call me cynical here, but may it be it's divine timing, and that's awesome. But also I have to ask the question, since the operation, has there been a walk-in? Is this my sister still? Or is it, it a walk-in? It, no, it's your sister. Okay, that's fine. I had to ask that question because that has crossed my mind. Because to go so long with this problem and suddenly they find it, how could they have not found it before? So, you know, sometimes you have a trauma for a walk-in to come in, don't we? But as long as she's okay. Well, I, I'm, she's still every day, every hour is still a mess. She's very powerful. She just doesn't got a lot of energy. Yeah, Correct. Sense. Most people would say a thousand times over, she won't make it, she won't make it. But by God, she's got the fight of a thousand soldiers because she should have gone a long time ago, but she just keeps coming back. So, you know, to her credit, but I just wish her some ease, I wish her some peace and wellness. She doesn't know what wellness is. She doesn't know what it is to be hungry. She's no, she hates food. It's her enemy. So bless her. Anyway, guys, thank you for the healing, Paul. You're welcome. Just say stop and I'll stop the cards. And oh, sorry. Yeah, message. yeah. Go, go, go. Uh, let me see. Okay. I've been shuffling for ages. So I don't oh, get, sorry. <laughs> so I don't get serenity. <laughs> <laughs> uh, stop. Thank you. Yeah. Romance. Not surrender. What's that? Romance. Oh, romance. Oh, okay. Oh. She'd choose somebody lovely in her life. That'd be nice. <laughs> oh, bless you, guys. Thank you so much because I'm quite worried about her right now. But she's she amazes me. And, you know, I, when I tell her she's an angel, she'll be like, well, of course I am. <laughs> bless <laughs> you, guys. Her. I really appreciate that. Thank Good you. Her. All righty. Deb? Yes. Uh, can I ask uh, healing for my friend? She's uh, already few few weeks. She has problem with throat, but her family, children too. I don't know what is going on, but yes. <laughs> she the one with the horses. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. What, what's her name, Lydia? Michaela. Michaela. Yes. Right. Don't forget, everyone, you're getting that mineral from uh, Creator downloaded. She's getting the mineral, too. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, let Michaela know that. Let Michaela know that um, Father put the 
his white energy, diamond light energy that went in through her heart and then did the molten gold. So every time her heart beats, mm -hmm. it goes into the bloodstream, molten gold. And she may feel it, a warmth spreading through her. It starts in her chest and goes through her, her whole body. She may suddenly feel that now. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it'll heal through her bloodstream, through her whole body. Um, it's going to heal her. Um, it'll last for a week. It'll last a week. Drink a lot of water. Um, it looks like she has some kind of virus. It's not. Um, it's not COVID. the COVID. It's not COVID. It's just like a flu, but it's not that mm -hmm. one. I was thinking the same. But yeah, it's not. It's not that one. It's very exhausted. Not much it energy is. with her. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I was getting a bit and I thought, her I don't, kids, want, I don't want that. The, <laughs> I want that to do the show. Kids, yeah, her kids have the same thing. Um, mm. But they're, and they'll, um, they get over it. Kids to yep. get over it quick. Um, I need to see their pictures. talk so I can see you instead of Phil. Lydia, talk. Yeah. Uh, there we go. Thank you. <laughs> What's the little boy's name? Uh, Alex, Alexander. And the little girl? Emily. Oh, thank you. Uh, he's sending energy through the crown for each one. Not only the mineral, but um, his diamond light energy. All right, and they'll, they'll also stay with them for a week. They should feel better within 24 hours, too. Mm -hmm. yeah, you're all set. You feeling good? Yeah? Are you okay, Lydia? Yep. Thank you very much. Okay. I've tried to uh, to move some of the virus or whatever she's got into and me, into me uh, rock. Okay. Thank you very much, Phil. I'll give her a card as well. Mm -hmm. the fam I'll give the family a card. You can say stop. Stop. Yeah, serenity. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> if that comes up again, I'll leave it out. <laughs> it's very interesting. It's the word of the day. Yes, exactly. Thank you very much. Well, it's, it's, well, it's, it's the 12th of the 12th tomorrow. Very yep. powerful tomorrow. day tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. so. Okay. Thank you very much, all of you. Uh, next mm -hmm. one is uh, Rhonda. She asking for her dog some healing in his rear leg, he's four and five years old. Four and a half years old. Yeah. Okay. Hi. Uh, Hi, Rob. So I know this isn't the pet thing um, and I'm not sure if you want me to wait. No, uh, it's fine. Next... It, Thank it's, you. It, it's a pet thing for 10 minutes, five minutes or 10 minutes. We're not having, <laughs> Thank we're not you. having a pet this month but that's fine so that's fine oh yeah. okay so uh oh i don't know why it's not okay hold no, on we're about, yeah. your bandwidth is low rhonda it or it could be your background is on blur leave it leave it there. yeah that's that's, okay. that's why it's going on so also he um uh 
about a month and a half ago, Archangel Michael and I went in and um, got rid of a demon. But uh, I think he's still having issues. We just need his face. I don't need his whole body. You can put it down now. Father went through his third eye and did put his energy through into him. Oh. So into, straight into his um, system. He also did the download of that mineral. Oh, good. Thank so you, was, Father. I'm oh, sorry. Go ahead. Sure. <laughs> I, I just that the energy, the healing energy will stay with them for a week. What did you find, Phil? How long is the idea about delay? Um, it's been getting worse. Um, I don't know, six months. Mm -hmm. But it's it gets worse all the time. I think it's something that the, uh, whatever you took out of him, has been left behind, like an implant. So I've got, just got rid of it, but I had a shot. I ain't do, doing it. In the, it's above me knee. Is that where it is? It's... He, well, he doesn't, um, lately, he hasn't been putting pressure on that entire leg. Yeah, it's a lot of pain there. I like. Yeah. I thought it was his hip, but, you know, I, I was doing um, universal energy and sending it, but it didn't seem to do much. Um, anyway so see how it goes because i've got there, there was some sort of something attached linked to that whatever you took out of him but it's above his knee it's like a ligament there yeah oh interesting yeah. okay he um so uh he's a sweetest boy mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden um if for it, it, in certain situations, um, he will completely be this beast. I mean, he wants to rip your face off completely, utterly opposite of his sweet nature. Mm. And um, that was the whole point in the first place of, you know, removing the entity. Um, it doesn't seem to 
I don't know if there was more, but you, you both didn't get anything it, else like that. The, no, the implant I've mentioned can control it. It can change his thought process and stuff like that. Oh my, okay. Uh, so the, so Phil, you said the implant is gone? Yeah, gone. Okay, well, I think okay, it great. I'm sure it has. <laughs> oh, okay, yes, thank you, thank you. Um, Okay, well, I so appreciate that. He's a he's just a sweet boy most of the time. Um, mm. Thank you, I, I do appreciate that. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Do you want a card for it? For, it? <laughs> for him, sure. <laughs> Any barks? <laughs> Probably a bit older. You, you say stuff. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. It's not serenity, thank God. <laughs> there you go. He probably needs that one. Guardian <laughs> Angels. Oh, very good. Very good. That's definitely something he could use. Yeah, his Guardian Perfect. Angel behind him. Just, just ask his Guardian Angel to help him. Yeah, animals can have them as well before anyone says that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Actually, some, I didn't know that. Well, some we've been animals as well, haven't we? If you, if, there you you work, if you work that one out. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys. Appreciate you. that. Yeah. Next one is Gillian. Gillian, can you please explain because I don't understand. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, so hi Phil, it's Gillian, how are you? I'm okay. Good, good to hear from all you. Thank you for all you do. Um, I think I need like a spiritual SWAT team to help right now. Um, Phil did help remove from the hands and that's been great. But now for almost a year, I've had probably like an implant type thing um, in my left ear. It keeps trying to nest like up, you know, by my brain in the upper area. And I think it's afraid because right now I just wipe my ear and um, I did have like a a couple like red reddish wires come out um so they are they are fearful of you guys right now um but yeah and then uh i also was attacked i got i found out i was attacked by um a chemical warfare agent mold <laughs> and i survived that but um half of my uh right head is kind of balding and getting attacked as well and, you know, I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to give up. But I just um, ask for, with love for your help. Because the pain is unbearable. But I'm, you know, I'm not going to stop spreading the light. Jillian, we have to see you to do this. OK, give me one second. OK. okay. I'd close your eyes while I've got scans and I'll see what's in there. Okay, speak again, Jillian. Hi, how are you? Good. So yeah, I've got, um, it feels like uh, something wedged in with almost like needle sharp and almost like something that grows like a cactus um, throughout my body and especially right here and it keeps attacking. And then this is the side of my um, head that's getting attacked. I didn't shave it or anything right here. Does your head itch a lot? Um, it, it usually doesn't, but there's um, 
it does a little bit. It's actually really painful. It feels like like sharp. And it actually looks like there's, uh, I can only describe it, describe them as like wing-like, mm. wing wings coming through, like a covering. I've, I've lost feeling in, in my face or my side right here, but it sheds kind of wing-like material. My doctor has not seen anything like it, but he at least found out about the warfare agent um, that I was poisoned with. Well, is there a piece of change while we're doing this? Actually. I'm sorry, what'd you say? Let's know if, you, if things change, because obviously uh, probably what you've got is a spiritual parasite, which has got intelligence to knowing that we're trying to get rid of it. And it's got fear. Right. Yeah, like I said, some of the implant wires in the left ear jump ship when I got on the call. <laughs> <laughs> the, the more, I, I, I think they're more like spiritual parasites. Can you tell where they're from or their origin? They feel alien, actually. Yeah. But that's what they do. They either separate in the body and try and defend themselves, or they actually, they actually uh, uh, jump ship. Yeah. Yeah, there's... I highly intelligent. Yeah, yeah, I think they uh well I like knowledge and wisdom and I believe they replicate the resilience in myself. So it's been a little tough getting rid of them or it or whatever. So that's why I'm asking for some backup. <laughs> they, they could be connected to in front. I'm trying to check it now. I'll try and remove. They could be like the uh, protectors, isn't it? the ones you put it in. But uh, whoever or whatever the entity is, I do offer them love and show them love. How do you feel now? I can feel an energy kind of like, you know, running through here. Um, yeah, I do. I do feel a lot of tingles in the head area, mm. but I've been I have been feeling, you know, a stabbing cactus like pain in the ear, but it does. It feels tingly now. And I thank you for you all for whatever assistance you could provide. Yeah, the tingling is is our side so trying to sort it out. Yes. Yeah, you probably work, work that one out. Do you get anything, Deb? Didn't at first. I didn't see anything. I've got all. I've got the. What we were doing to yeah. <laughs> I'll have to have a full cleanse tonight. Do you want a card, by the way? 
Yes, please. Message of the angels. Just say stop. Say stop when you're ready. Stop. Oh. I'm not done it all. Uh, you brought harmony. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Which is an excellent card. So what the angels are saying there is let go of your troubles, let them just go away uh, and you'll be better. So, uh, just trying to work out if it carries on. Well, yeah? Uh, I'm getting um, to check for a reactivation device. It's very um, clever. Where's that? Um, I'm... I think it's on a spine. You know, I'm getting a lot of pain in the spine, and I'm thinking this is the third one tonight. I'm getting pain, pain there. Yeah, it might even be an aurora, and she may even have an, a, so, uh, a subconscious contract that may need breaking. Right, okay. But yeah, the, the spine, I get the spine. Uh, about I'd say midway down. Yeah, that's exactly where I'm getting the pain. Do you get pain in that part? No, or oh, yes? Um, not too bad. I'm just uh, overwhelmed by the pretty much stabbing, stinging pain in next to my brain here daily. Yeah. Um, I mean, this is a weird question, but could this be like my future self, like training me or playing like some kind of joke? I don't know. Or is it tied? I don't, I don't think, know. Is it... I, I can't see that being a test. Okay. okay. I can't see. But you it said being... prob probably intelligent alien. Yeah. But let, let's and... let's connect to your spine and let's see where it goes. Thank you. Because I get that because I, that's where I'm getting the pain. So it, it's my body's telling me to check where. It's really raining super hard now here. <laughs> Right, hopefully that's done. I'm not, even, I'm not even saying what happened. <laughs> you don't believe me. <laughs> right, but yeah, alien set. Well, yeah. On the right arm, on a wrist at the top, mm -hmm. uh, in alignment with a little, like roundabout way, a little finger is. Yeah. Have a look on the bone there, just there. Julian, why, why, why have you got all these, all this stuff? Do you say my right wrist? Oh. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so when I was a child, I broke my wrist three times, and it was in three-year intervals, and my cousin Stephen was always present. <laughs> I wonder if someone came in. 
Have you always had these problems all your life? No, it was just um, pretty much the start of like, you know, 2020. And I started my kind of Ascension Awakening in 2015. Um, I did meet with Barbara Marciniak and she channeled and said times will be, you know, difficult the next five years, but to ground uh, positive energy and such. But then since 2020, uh, I, you know, I've always spread peace, love and light and unity and things like that. But since 2020, I've just been getting super attacked and I've never had these problems before. So obviously you're attracting them with your energy. Okay. Let me just do one other thing. I know it's taking a while, so we've got 100 messages. Thank you, I, I super appreciate it. What I do, do uh, you can do this. I, from Atlantis, we used to have a crystal halo above our heads. Mm -hmm. And this is like a portable grounding and healing technique. So when you do, a, say, a meditation, visualize this halo above your head and it goes, uh, I'll do it the American way, two inches down, one inch up, two inches down, one inch up. Now, it's normally Gabriel's white light that comes out of it. If it changes colour, like red dragon fire or something like that, it's getting rid of implants and attachments. And it goes all the way down to your feet. And after it's gone to your feet, then... Uh, channeling moon energy right down through all your chakra system. Yeah. And then, I don't know, this is like the kind of reddish wire that had come through. I don't know if you could see it. Um, what was that, sorry? A, kind of, this was the reddish wire that just came through. It's on this cloth. Yeah. It's kind of moving and such. I don't know if that will help you, but it's kind of moving and such, but yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll do the halo on you now. You can tell me what you feel and then you can do it every day if you want. Okay, thank you. You feel that? It was a quickie. Yeah. It normally 10 minutes, but yeah. Thank you. Okay, thanks. Next one is Susan Mulheran. Susan, yes, are you there? I'm, I'm here. <laughs> Hello, Hello, Lydia. Hello, um, Phil and David Rick. Uh, long time no see. Um, so as you know, I've been dealing with my skin condition for a year now, but it's mostly gone. I think I have about 20% left and it's mainly, it's on my arms and uh, mainly the inside of my calves and thighs. Um, but with this condition, it could be like damage to blood vessels under the skin causing flare ups and then scabbing and like painful prickly sensations um, on the inside of my arms, inside of my legs. Um, so I'm wondering if you can do any healing or clearing for that. And then also, um, I had a dear friend who was also my supervisor at work, um, pass away suddenly last weekend, uh, believe it's a heart attack. Um, and he was, uh, I would consider him a light worker and he's like the second light worker that's had a sudden heart attack in like the last three months. And I don't know what the cause is yet, um, you know, I have my suspicions, but you never know. Um, but I've been feeling just kind of like, like, you know, emotionally numb and, you know, obviously in shock and depressed <laughs> so from, from this experience. So any, I guess, um, clearing related to that to help get me motivated back into life again and not feeling kind of stuck um, from that experience, so. You look a lot better than last time. 
I think we gave you I, um, last time and you, you look miles better. Yeah, everywhere else in my body has cleared. It's just the inside of my arms, inside of my legs. And when it flares up, it can be painful, prickly, itchy, you know, all that. And but with your emotions at the moment, it could flare up any time, can it? So yeah. you want to sort your emotions out. I've heard it, I mean, with this condition, take anywhere from six months to a year and a half. And so, but most of it's gone and I'm just wanting the rest of it to go as, you know, as soon as possible. But I'm just wondering if there's like a purpose for it or if there is something that I can do like diet wise or, or um, yeah, maybe it's stuck emotions or what have you that I need to clear. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you scanning, Deb? Yeah. Pardon? Are you yeah. scanning? Of course. Can you feel that, Susan? Yeah, I'm feeling some tingling. Yeah, do you have pain in the back of your neck? Um, yes, yeah, a little bit in my yeah. more, yeah, like upper upper back into the neck, maybe. Yeah, yeah. I think the stress is causing that, actually. Yeah, that's probably true. <laughs> you just got to find a way of releasing it. And we say, good or good, the tree. Let the tree handle it. You sent, um, sent healing through your 
third eye. The healing went into your bloodstream. It um, wasn't uh, like a topical healing. Well, this skin condition is considered systemic. So even if you, um, yeah, so it can be anywhere in the body, not necessarily yeah. exposed to anything externally. Which, yeah, it's right. like to topical. Like blood, yeah, and when it, yeah. you put it in your bloodstream, you didn't put it on topical. Um, this will stay with you for the next week, but um, it's going to go through your bloodstream in a, in a constant stream for the next seven days. Um, he also gave you that mineral from Sirius that everybody is getting a download and your cats are getting it as well. Um, I don't know what it's for. <laughs> that went through your brown. Yeah. Well, that's good. I'm, I'm connected to Sirius, so they're the Sirius Collective, so that's good. <laughs> it's a surprise. So All right. he says everybody, everybody will know when um, it's activated, but I mean, it's, it's in your system. It's going to stay there as, 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 during this human experience. So, okay. Um, so you don't know what, when it's activated, what it's going to do? Well, it's, it's in your system. It's going to stay with us for this whole human experience, but um, apparently it's going to, uh, for, for something, I don't know. What it's for. Maybe it's health with um, health, health down the road, maybe or longevity or who knows. I have no idea what it's for. Okay. I wish you'd tell me, but I can't keep a secret, so it's not going to tell me. <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah, I can't keep a secret. Yeah, Susan, you had a, a, like a spiritual cream on, on the parts that are inflamed at the moment. Okay. So I've never done that before. I've never seen that before. It's a new one on me. But every, every time we do this, this event, there's new stuff that comes. Yeah, learning new things all the time. I know. We all will. Yes. We'll never stop learning. <laughs> yeah, that's why we're here. Experience, experience, Even experience. After we, leave, we will continue learning. Yeah. It'll never stop. And that's how we go up in vibration and in dimensions. It's always going to be learning. Or else we'd get bored, wouldn't we? Of course. <laughs> you got to say stop. If you want a card. Okay. Stop. Emerging. That's it. A rare one that comes out. Emerging. Emerging. Yeah, yeah that fits <laughs> for sure. <laughs> All right. Can I share a little light language with you both? Yeah, well, yeah before, with, with before, every... before I do that, you, you are awesome. That's what it means. So. Yeah, well, I know I'm emerging and I'm about to start my spiritually based business and we're work working on some of that. So, all right. So I'm just going to do a quick uh, light language blessing for everyone here. So. You are all blessed from on high. Never doubt your magnificence. Always shine your light. Blessings and healing for all. Thank you. Blessings. Thank you. Uh, next one. Yeah. Wendy, are you there? Yes, I'm here. How are you today? Good. Good. <laughs> good. So good to see you. So um, my son, Alexander, has actually asked for um, some healing to be done. So I'll go ahead and he's the one in the turquoise blue shirt here on the far right. Or maybe it's your left. You see him okay? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Uh, 
All right, you can take it down. Thank, right, you. thank you. All right, stomach, chest. It's almost like he's got a chest cold and a stomach flu and... He's easing. He's, he's healing his chest and his stomach, but he's going to his heart. And he's clearing the arteries around his heart. He's healing the heart muscle. I don't know whether there's heart disease in your family or um, his. There's, there's um, cholesterol in my husband's side of the family. Well, the arteries, um, there are, I don't know what this, we see the future too. So for future, yes. um, the arteries, um, there's plaque in the arteries. So it's being cleared. So we're repairing the arteries and the heart muscle. So this isn't going to happen in the future. Oh, wonderful. He also has a heart murmur. Been repairing the heart murmur. Oh, wow. Okay, that's done. Now we're going to his throat. Now the back of his neck and his spine. I don't know whether he's got some back issues, but he's got, it looks like he's got some bulging discs too. So now his back is all, I could see his whole spine is lit up. He's going from the back of his head all the way down to the root and doing repairs on his back. Across his hips across his shoulders. Down his legs into his knees and his ankles. Wendy, has he, has he had the vaccine? Has he, still has he the what? Vaccine? Has he had the vaccine? Yes. Vaccine. That's what, I'm reversing it. Yeah. He's got headaches. He's even got pain on his hand. Or oh, he's got something weird on his hand. Um, he has had a attack by alien beings not too long ago. Is that before or after the vax? Uh, after the vax. After. Yeah. Vaccine is connected to, I'm not even saying what it is, but it, that could be why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he, right. It. So he, yeah. Um, we discovered there was a portal open in his bedroom. We closed yeah. that down, shut that up, uh, put protection around him. And uh, 
Summer VV. I don't even want to say it on the app. Summer V, I've been planting oh. them. That's how they can track it. It's a tracker. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm not surprised. Yeah. yeah, as a matter of fact, my pretty much my whole family has gotten it, even though I've recommended that they don't. But mm. of course, circumstances being what they are, uh, people's you know, work positions. There's also a programming involved, so they'll defend themselves. So, I it, you know, so let, let's reverse it. Mm, thank you. He did say something about his uh, rotator cuffs on his shoulders, creating a lot of pain, but maybe that's mm. part of that too. Most of it. That's been healed. Say that again, Deb. When he went down his spine and across his shoulders, he went and he healed those. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Beautiful. Thank you. His shoulders. Thank you. Much appreciation and love, of course, to source. And Deb, are you seeing anything on me that needs to be balanced back? I know I've been going through my own um, clearings and that a lot <laughs> this last couple of months. <laughs> Old, you know, those old lives that like to come up and go, oh, hi, we're here, let's clear out. <laughs> um, I think you have an attachment. Do you feel somebody on your back? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a lost soul. Oh. So it's not a bad one. But I think you, um, they they get uh, they see your light, so it's a false light, and they hop on. Yeah, I it's interesting. I um, almost if it's not every night, almost every other night, I'll do the halo, um, you know, the halo of Atlantis clearing, and um, I did it last. I was feeling it last night, and I was like, man, I am like clearing a lot of stuff. So I don't know. Also, my. Um, my family was here, my, my daughter and my little grandson, and I felt like I was clearing a lot from them. So that's entirely possible that I, you know, took their stuff and just haven't had a chance to do anything with it yet. So I they don't arrive. Know. Well, they arrive um, all the time. They just happen to be passing yeah. by and they see this white light, you know, and this energy, this, you know, nice Rick brings them home all the time. Yep. I mean, it just yeah. happens. We're buddies. <laughs> We're buddies in that, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We go out to eat, and you know, you, you, a little grand, a girl that little girl that died was walking behind her grandfather. Stayed with her grandfather. Went with him everywhere. She didn't know where to go. She was like twelve years old and had died, and Aww. she walked. Like, she was yeah. talking to us. She walked over, stood behind me, and started asking me why we had this bright light around us. Aww. I sent her home. Yeah, yeah. We, we, you, know, you just get them. Yeah, we do. We do a lot of that sending them home. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah. So I see. know when we were um, when we were at the ocean, we were bringing a lot of souls home. So I'm surprised that. We didn't have any that like stayed with us from that event, <laughs> from that clearing and healing. Someone named Bethany on, on you. Um. No, the most recent healing that I did was, yeah. was a Hel Helena or Hel Helena. I'm not sure how to say her name, but that was the last soul that I sent back to the light. But um, so Bethany, I'm, I don't know. <laughs> Bethany Rogers. Where'd she find me? <laughs> uh, 
Um, you were in your car. Um, she's she's on the back of your neck. Mm -hmm. Upper shoulder and in, in my neck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I noticed like, um, usually I try to get my reading done at night and I noticed that when my head is down that my neck has been extremely like in pain. So I'm like, oh man, here we go. <laughs> so well, yeah. Is, yeah. Is she ready to go home? <laughs> well, I'm telling her that she can make her light as big as yours, actually bigger, as big as the sun. She said she didn't know she could do that. Yeah. I love it when they discover their light within themselves. <laughs> With Mary Magdalene here to help her. Beautiful. Oh, I feel the energy now. Okay, she's she's ready now. She's gonna. You, know, you may feel the warmth. She's pulling her energy out. Yep. Here she goes. Okay. She's gone. Thank you. <laughs> I'll feel, we'll heal that area now. If he's done, if he's done with Alex, I was trying to buy him some time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's good now. Thank you. I don't see any more. Very good. What about, oh, I was going to say, well, when Phil works on my back, because I noticed, um, of course, my little grandbaby, he's a, he's a little cutie pie, but he's in that stage where he's just growing and he's a little milk monster. <laughs> so carrying him around all day when you're not used to carrying him, we had him for the weekend. So um, I should say, you know, the last couple of days. So, um, but yeah, it's just like, I'm like, oh man, what is all this sword is? Yeah. <laughs> Muscles that you don't usually use. Mm. Yeah, up, uh, hopefully reverse to some, uh, uh, not phase I good energies. Yeah. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> Can you hear me? No, I, it was hard to hear, sorry. Yeah, uh, I've saw it. I've helped you some with the uh, energies that it's not for your eyes good. It's the best way I can say it. <laughs> gotcha. I reversed it anyway. Um, put some energy in your back, your lower back, and uh, your hips for the pain. Thank you. And anesthesia. <laughs> the, yeah, the grandma pain. Yep. <laughs> If I could just have that for every time I've got those little grandbabies, that'd be great. <laughs> I know. Yeah, yeah. You want a card? Um, of course. I was going to say, do you want a card? I could pull one for you, too. <laughs> I'll, I'll do yours for All right. You do mine. I'll do yours. I'll as well. Oh, now. Yeah. Body care. Bunny care? Body care. Uh, okay, I can take, I see that? Take care of your physical body. Body care, yes. Yeah. All right. Yeah. The car is here for you. Thank you. Oh, one jumped out. 
That's not the one I want. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, two jumped out. Mm. I'll let I'll let I'll go until you say stop and get the one you wanted. Oh, another one's trying to jump. Have you ever shuffled cards before? <laughs> yes. They, this deck is very good and it gives me accurate readings, by the way. Right now. Your first, your first card was Akashic Records, Evaluation and Review. Am I allowed back in? Wow. <laughs> He's thrown out. I know, that's what it said. <laughs> Evaluation and Review. Yeah. And then you got water, emotional well-being, the dolphins. Yeah. And then the yeah. next one that jumped out was um, red, safety, strength, and power. My people. Can't, see the, lot can't see the lottery, right? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that one tried to go flying now. That's interesting. There's a symbolism of the pipe, the feathers, the hand with the life symbol. I don't know if you can see that here. Yeah. And the horses, the pipe. There, see, maybe you're getting a peace pipe offering from the Akashic mm -hmm. Records. <laughs> Money. Well, uh, I was uh, in another life. I never told you all this. I was in India. It could shape shift into an eagle. Oh wow! I don't, I don't know how that came about, but wow, uh, that I've, I've never mentioned that one. Wow, wow, that's fun. See, I'm telling you, my card readings are very accurate when they come. I'm happy to go slow and let you say stop. Who's this for, Dad? No, these are still for you. No, we, need to move, we need to move on. on. We need go to on. move on. Stop one more go. Quickly. I can put one. Well, I got one for Deb. Go on, It'll Deb. take one. Oh, hers jumped out too. <laughs> Creation, expansion in your life. All right. Thank you for playing. Thank you. <laughs> I, I, lo I love Amanda Ellis's cards, her Metatron cards. They're fabulous, aren't they? Yeah, I, think I really like them. I use them a lot. They're, they're fun. Guys, I'm going to have to go. Thank you so, so, so right. much. I want to be and my sister and say thanks. I can. Bye, all. See you again soon. Love you bye too. Bye. And, oh, and what, thank what? you. Oh, I was just going to say thank you to um, Deb and Rick and to Phil for their work on, on Alex on his back. I'm sure a lot of that he just had no idea about. So uh, I picked a card for him. I picked a card for him. Music for him. Frequency. Okay. Music? Music for in frequency. Frequency. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That sounds perfect. That's it sounds exactly like his. I mean, he's always listening to music. <laughs> so all right. Thank you guys. I'm gonna go back on mute. Okay. Much love. Right. You're welcome. Okay, the next one is uh Janine. Hello, love you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Janine, sure. are you there? Janine. Hello. Hello. Hello, Am beautiful. I right? <laughs> uh, I've been like, my sister was sick three weeks ago, and then I got it, and my mother got it, and I can't shake it. And I'm doing everything I can to shake it, but I'm these energies coming in are strong. Oh, Janine, my father wants to tell you, stop. Yes. This is him stop. talking right now, immediately. Stop. Okay. You're not taking care of yourself. You're overdoing it. You're overdoing it. You're not taking care of you. You're taking care of everybody else but you. Oh. You are worried about everybody else but you. You're not, not taking care of you. You're overdoing it. Mm. <laughs> You've got to stop and love yourself and take care of you. You're exhausting yourself, taking care of everyone. If you don't stop and take care of yourself, how can you take care of them? 
you are overdoing it. You're right. <laughs> you're right. I'm not right. Father's right. I don't know what you're doing. He's sa immediately saying, stop. Oh. You're not getting enough rest. You're not eating right. You're overdoing it. You're, you're, you're a slave right now. Yeah. And you're not going to get better. <coughs> um, that's so funny because I've been like calling on him a lot. And you know, I'm really close to Mother Divine, but um, I've been keeping him like really close. <laughs> um, well, he hears you, but you're not hearing him. No, I'm not. So now he's yelling, stop. <laughs> I can heal you, but you're not going to get healed if you're not stopping. Yeah. I can give you chicken soup, but you're just going to throw it up because you're running out the door the next minute. Yeah. How can the nutrients work if you're running? It's yeah. just going to come right up. No, 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 calm down. I'm just letting her know. This is how he's, this is the message he's yelling at me. Oh. <laughs> Do you know that? Oh. He's, he's like, whoa. This is fatherly love. I, he's showing me. He's showing me everything you're doing. Wow. I feel strung out, you know, but. Because you are. It's, it's yeah. You are, you're not. You, where can you go to go get rest? I'm my mother's <laughs> my mother's here and I put her to bed at night and hope she wakes in the morning and when she does she coughs at night and she gets this phlegm up and she chokes I get up and stand in her doorway and wait until I know she's breathing again but you have a sister where's your sister uh well she's on the other side of the house <laughs> okay you have a sister there tell your sister you need to go take care of yourself for a few days let her take care of her you if you, you're not going to get better yeah um yeah i'm doing everything i know how and i okay you're not sleeping you're not eating you're worried about everybody else but yourself Mm -hmm. yeah he knows me <laughs> wow that's embarrassing that it got this bad but i'm so glad i i plugged into this i came a little late but i was like i'm not going anywhere until i know well let's give you some healing now but you've got to slow down i will if you don't leave, at least slow down and get medicine, get some like good food in you. That's medicine. Let us heal, send you healing, but slow down. Give somebody else jobs to do. You, you shouldn't do everything. Oh You're not the only person there. He's sending healing to the whole house. Uh, Everybody there. Beautiful. Your prickly energies are uh, drumming. Sending. Uh -huh. Thank you. He's sending out this tornado of energy through the house to get rid of the sickness push that energy out
Have you got a bad back as well? No. Uh, My back's good tonight. See you, Lee. <laughs> I have um, fallen on my coccyx two times recently. I broke my coccyx when I was a child and um, a teenager, and I recently fallen on it from a truck bed and in the dining room recently, and I heard it really bad, but it feels a little better. We got the mineral from Sirius as well. That's the download. But you got um, a beautiful energy that went through your, your bloodstream. To get this illness knocked out of you, one that went through the house. Wow! And your animals all got the mineral. <laughs> Thank you. The next animal um, healing you have, I'm bringing her macaw on. Macaw on. She's with us and she's screaming um, too much. And I, I want to know what she's upset about. So next time when you heal animals. <coughs> okay. Wow. It won't be until January, but if you want to connect during the week or something, we can do that. Well, they're so sensitive and my mother uh, has changed so much. Um, you know, I don't know. She she wants something and I'm not getting it, you know? Yeah. I feel better already, you guys. I feel like a weight off my shoulder. Incredibly, that's how I feel. Wow. I want to cry now. Blessing for you. Do you want a card? <laughs> Everyone sure. wants. Say stop. Tell them when to stop, Jenny. Stop. stop. <clears throat> and it's enchantment. Ooh. She's a nice card. I like that. You've got to connect, actually, it's perfect for you. You need to connect with your inner child and recapture your childhood magic. Mm -hmm. I think that's exactly, exactly what you mean. Yeah. I will. I will go outside and do that right now. Tell your family that you're seven. <laughs> seven years old. They would not <coughs> doubt it. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's wonderful. I miss you. You're welcome. Bye. Next one's in Jillian's corner. Jillian. Hi, beautiful souls. I'm lucky. You're back. <laughs> What have you brought us this time? <laughs> Jillian, one of the messages says, can I have a son? I don't know what a son means. <laughs> <laughs> Debbie, you go down sands. I don't know what a sand is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, with the old house up laughing last time, I've got stifling. <laughs> <laughs> laughing is good. 
Yeah. Raises a vibration. Yeah, definitely. Although, don't make me laugh too hard because I have to pee. <laughs> <laughs> we may have a flood here. <laughs> Same. Rick will be in trouble. <laughs> if I left you, I don't go off somewhere and he ground me some. I drink too, way too much water. I need more water. I'm getting told up already. Mm, right, I'm back. Do you want some healing as well, Julian? Yes, yeah, see what you pick up. One. Yes, okay. um, I'll need something. Oh, God. You've got things in your house again. What do I have? What do I see? A dwarf? Uh, what is it? A gnome? What is that? A leprechaun? Do you have visitors again? I wouldn't be surprised. Um, when I was doing um, some healing, um, I was aware. Very vividly, there was a male at the bottom of my bed as well. He soon left. It looked like one of the dwarfs from Seven from Snow White. Now I can't find him. I, do you know <laughs> you? You, you have the most interesting visitors in your house. Elementals, always. Well, I like the elementals. But do you get you get the weird ones that are not so nice sometimes. Grumpy. Yeah, he's, like, he's probably he got grumpy. Like, <laughs> yeah, I know. He looks like one of the dwarves. Oh. <laughs> he just showed he just showed me again. He showed himself as grumpy. It's funny you said that. He just showed up again. Ice cream. Mm -hmm. Do you want some ice cream? Come I'd like them while they're getting in. <laughs> yeah, how are they getting in? No idea. Um, you have a portal? Maybe my, maybe my Andrew. Yeah, I think he... I think you come with him. Who? Um, Andrew. Who's that? My partner. Oh. I, I feel weird being my partner. I've been with him since I was 17. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's that wrong in having them in the house. He doesn't seem to um, be like... He's not nasty. He's kind of a jokester. Um, my daughter works with um, uh, disabled young adults. Up to, I, I'm not sure what the older ones are. And sometimes I get things coming in with her. This one is... Um... He's he's not evil, but he's not he's not nice either. He's kind of in between. He's like a prank a prankster energy. He can be mean though. Yeah, what he just said. I'm not even saying it about you. <laughs> About me? About he's me? Not, he's not as mean as you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not surprised. So he's a dickhead. <laughs> I just don't know where they're coming in because I barely leave the house. Yeah. <laughs> 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 So I call him a trickster, and he calls me a mean a meanie. He's, I'm not. He's. I'm. Not, he's not as mean as me. Nice. 
I don't think he likes his last. <laughs> oh. the love. <laughs> Spreading the love here, aren't we? Is that who's been tapping me this week? He's the one, probably. Yeah, I don't like tapping the side of my legs and, and on my right shoulder. Oh, I'm sure he has been. Like I, I told you, he's 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 a jokester. You know, Julian, I think I think you bring them in. Not huh? knowingly. I don't know how, but I think I've, I've been told you bring him in somehow. I think you I think they're from uh, oh, slightly lower dimensions. Hmm? I've always been connected to the elementals. I try not let myself dip too. I don't try not dip too low. Hmm. In fact, I ignore everything. <laughs> so they come to see you because you don't go to them. <laughs> Probably. Hmm. Probably. It's definitely you. You're bringing them in. So, you're well connected. Well, they need what to go. Um, to be honest with you, um, my cousin's um, daughter used to bring them in, mm. and they used to pinch her brother because he lived near some railway lines and I'm not across the road for some woods, and he used to hit her because he said she'd pinched him and she was nowhere near him. Probably from the woods. It would have been woodland, wouldn't it? It would have been definitely from woodland. Yeah, yeah. from the woods. And he would fly at it and hit it, and she'd be nowhere near him. And he'd say, you have, you've pinched me. Hmm. So I think possibly he's come in, because I used to take care of him when um, the parents were at work. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, I'm surprised you can't see this guy. I can't see him, but I, 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 I do block him out. I'm, I'm like, I might have to physically feel you, but I'm not tuning into you. Yeah. I just wondered who the male was. Um, he was at the bottom of my bed because I don't very often see, and he was very vivid, and I, I shut him down quickly. Oh, yeah, it was grumpy. <laughs> we didn't look, no, he looked um, human. No. It was him. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'd seen shut him down. Yeah. He can oh well, he can switch what he looks like though. Well he can go back the woods. Well, you got woodlands near there to you. I'd stay about just over a mile maybe away. Hmm. It's amazing in there. I haven't been for a long time. Um, there's fairy rings, there's everything down there. Absolutely. Everything. But it's, it's sinister as well and at night. They're closing the car park to it. Mm. You got a car, then, Jillian? Yes, please. Oh, is it? Stop. Stop. Hmm. Uh, truth and integrity. I can't say that word. I don't like getting the cash. Integrity? That's the word. Truth and integrity. You can make them so much. You make mistakes spiritually. Ask, yep. the, ask the angels to sort it out and change it uh, like a miracle. Truth and integrity. Yeah. Like right. So if you make spiritual, if you think you're doing not quite on the path, ask them to sort it out. Ask for a miracle. To be honest with you, I think that's what holds me back. I'm mm. like, I doubt, I doubt it. Yeah. If it's, if it's the truth. So just recently I've been, if I'm getting it, like with um, the implant, I don't, I don't necessarily have to hear a voice mm. for it to be, it just is what it is. And I've just yeah. started accepting that. Yeah. 
That's good. I have a good hear a voice. I don't need to second guess it. If I feel it is something, just say it. Mm. So um, I have recently stopped. Is it or it or should I say it or shouldn't I say it? Mm. But thank you. <laughs> yeah, a lot of times the, the first in what your first message you get is the truth. And then you, you, yeah. you try and become 3D human saying, no, that can't be right. <laughs> it can be yeah. difficult. It can be difficult. Yeah, yeah. It's a learning curve. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. You're welcome. Good to see you again. Yeah, lovely to see you. The next one is Radem Tionista. I am new. Do you have any messages for me? Thanks, Namaste. But I did not find, no, find no one with this name. She left. She left. Okay. Okay. Then um, Becky, Becky Bucci, Bucci. Hi. Becky. Ah. Can you see me? Yes. I'm new to the group, just found out about you through Don Parkinson. So much gratitude for what you do. Um, I'm 74 and have a lot of old lady ailments, <laughs> but actually in pretty good health. Um, my main concern is I've been working on opening my pineal gland. Uh, it's, it's, I seem to be blocked there somehow. And uh, I was wondering if you could help me. Sure. Thank you. Let's see, Becky. I don't see it blocked. You don't? I think people um, seem to think it stays open all the time. It doesn't stay open all the time. I see. It's only open when it, you need to see something or there's a message or... Um, there's a film over it right now like a shadow. Let me call it a curtain. So how does how do you want me to word this? I'm asking father to give me the message. So do you meditate? I do. Probably not as much as I should, but I do meditate. Every morning I, I have a little chat with Father. And um, during the day, I try to take time. If you meditate, if you can, if you're, are you, you're in, uh, are you in a place where it's wintertime or there's, a lot, there's not a lot of sunlight right now uh, or? Well, I'm in North Carolina, so that's not too bad. It's winter, but it's like 60, 70, it's not bad. So you can go outside and sit in the sun for a little I, bit. Yeah, yeah. And I do Let have sunshine. Favorite, I do have a favorite tree that I go speak to. Um, if you could sit like even if it's for only 10 minutes and face the sun so that okay. your your forehead is facing the sun and do the deep breathing. Okay. Empty your, empty your lungs. And, and then after the third breath and you've relaxed and you're not thinking about anything, just ask your higher self, I'm, I'm ready to receive. And okay. do that and try and do that where you're, you have, you're not thinking of anything. And just, and if you start, your mind starts wandering, just do that for a few minutes every day. If your mind starts wandering, do the deep breathing three times and just, I'm ready to receive. A lot of times you'll you'll get a download in your third eye. Connect with your higher self. That's what that's what I want you to try and do. 
Okay. That's, that's what happened with me. My third eye opened when I was sitting in the sun. And that's when I realized it was open. My whole oh. forehead lit up. My whole, wow. whole forehead lit right up. And wow. that's what, wow, my third eye's open. Yeah. It, Exciting. You don't realize it until you're sitting in the sun and this, it, it happens. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're inside the house and you close your eyes, you don't really notice it, that your third eye's open. Yeah, I want to be outside when it's open. That's, that's when you're, and you're meditating. Inside the house, you're not in nature. You've got to be outside in nature. Yeah. Well, I am surrounded by trees, so I can be in the, in the house and see them, you know. Yeah. But, but it's not, you need to be outside. It's not, be, yeah. it's not the same. Get, get in nature. Okay. okay. Ten, even 10 minutes, just do some deep breathing and just try and empty your mind and let, let, let the trees, the trees tell me their names. They, I know. I know. I know the names. I know the names. Yeah. You know what I mean, you, 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 you have a relationship with them. They do. Then be with them. Yeah, I love them. I talk to them every day. I talk to mine too. Yeah, and one day when I met in Florida, still talks to me. Her name's Lily. Oh, still talks Lily. to me. I was out. To, my my favorite tree is named Lucinda. And I was out talking to her and she, she uh, one day she said to me, put your back up and just look. And it was a, a light show on the pine trees. The sun was just glistening. And I've lived here for 17 years and never noticed it. And it was so beautiful. So, and one day Mother Earth spoke to me. I was overcome. It was amazing. You were a fairy at one time. That's why they talked to you because you were an elemental. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I've, I've been told that I came from the angelic realm and that I've been here for 52,000 years in a number of lives. I don't know if it's true, but I've been told that by a psychic. But I do have a close. Um, relationship with Archangel Michael and I believe that I'm a demon fighter when I sleep do you get anything on well, that let me tell you if you are you would you would meet up with, with Phil <laughs> Phil do we know each other <laughs> I'm not sure uh, do you ever come back with marks or scratches um if you don't, ask for them, because them scratches give you the memories of what you've been fighting. Okay. Yeah, they only stay for a few days and then they go. But I did get two sprained ankles once, and that was a very painful two days. Wow. <laughs> so, wow. So that's not a problem. Do you want some healing, by the way? Because you've said you want some healing. I, I would love some healing. Um, yeah. I would love it. The old okay. body could use a little tune-up. <laughs> mm -hmm. so, have you ever had ex experienced worry, worry work dreams or anything like that? Have you ever had memories of it? I, you know, I don't remember too many dreams. I do know that I'm on a lot of missions. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I'm getting instructions. Um, but it's not as a, as a, as a warrior. But, um, I just it kind of intuit that I am. I don't know where it comes from, but, and I just feel I'm with Archangel Michael. Uh, give me some music. You know, it's funny about the fairy. I just had a friend make me a fairy house. It's gorgeous. Uh, yeah. See, I'm not getting that you were an angel. I, I am getting that you were a fairy or elemental. Fairy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> How does that resonate with you? Um, I like the fairies, but I resonate with the angels. 
but who knows? <laughs> <laughs> I'm grateful for the for the fairies and I have this house built for them. Yeah, we love them. We love them. Yes, we do too. You're getting the mineral and you may feel some healing and vibration or warmth on your spine, your hips your throat. Well, I have paralyzed vocal cords, so I could use help there. Yeah. Even though I can speak, I, I had a thyroid surgery, cut the vocal cords by mistake. It's like 30 years ago. So I've had to kind of relearn how to speak and breathe. This is a wonderful group. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, it's also going into your um, your circulatory system. I'm gonna let Phil continue, and I'm gonna be right back. I have to go to potty. Yeah, <laughs> three hours. I three yeah. and a half hours. I think it's, it's time. <laughs> You feel the energy? I feel it. It's sort of like wah wah kind of energy. I'm actually going to. <laughs> Do you want a card? I'd love one. Thank you. Yeah, I've opened some up that you might remember what you do in Astro okay. a little, little more. Okay. Yeah. A little more memories might come in. Thank you. Yeah. Right, tell us when. Stop. It's uh, retreat. Retreat. Yeah. So you just need a break from your journey to recoup your energy. Okay. If you get that. Um, the, the other thing is, is I would like to start an artist retreat center. So that has meaning for me there too. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Much gratitude to you, Phil. Okay. Thank you. Next one is Sophie. Sophie, are you there? Yeah, I can see you. Yes, yeah, now I'm here. I'm just waiting for death. Thank have you for you, reminding. Have, have you been on this before? No, I'm quite new to this. We got a new one, Sophie. A new patient? <laughs> Sophie, <laughs> Sophia? Yeah. My, my time is precious, so, you know, hurry up. <laughs> Did you enjoy your, your party at church? Yeah, it was all right. <laughs> Hello, darling. Hi, Deb. Hi, Ray. You look Hi. so beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> you like healing? Yeah, um, Deb and Rick and Philip, I was wondering if you can just do, a, you know, one of your beautiful scans. And, yes. um, 
and kill anything that you see. <laughs> that doesn't, <laughs> I shouldn't be there. <laughs> You're healing as well. Any anything you can throw at me, I appreciate it. But the only thing I don't want is a card. Uh, forgiveness. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> Yeah, doing healing in there. Um, your uterus area and your I'll just say that area. You had some issues? Um, well, uh, about three years ago, um, I went for an a operation and, um, and the doctor, <laughs> a very good doctor, apparently he meant to be, um, he cut... Um, um, a tube from my, um, uh, say, my kidney to my bladder by accident. And then obviously the recovery, you know, I got loads of inflammation after that. So yeah, was, I'm, uh, seeing, I'm seeing some issues with the bladder and that, that area. So that's yeah. me. Um, so there's some repair going on there. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yes. Because I didn't want to get it too involved in it, trying to explain because I'm what I was seeing. There's repair going on in that area, area right now. Thank you both. You're not going to send me an invoice, are you? No. <laughs> I don't have any invoices. <laughs> This one's on the house. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, the condition is you have a card as well. Oh, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, father's telling me he's this healing's going to go over the seven day period. Um, it's a little bit more complicated, and it's 
going to include I don't know if you're feeling this at all, but it's the lower half of your area and going into the, um, even the colon area. So you may feel it'll, it, it's, it'll heal quickly, but he wants to keep the healing energy in that area for about a week and a half. Thank you, I appreciate that. It's like your, that whole area down there. And there was some scar tissue and stuff, so he wanted to remove all that. Um, you have a sore throat? Thank God, no. I'm very dry. No. Dry throat? Um, remember, I was ill, Deb, and I came to you and I ate. Uh, yeah. You know, on me yeah uh, kept coughing at that time but um no since then i've been good mm. i've been i've had a bit of a runny nose I, I don't mind that after that illness like i had that um mm -hmm. whatever it was like a bad cold or whatever it was yeah Um, he's gonna put you he's gonna do a healing in your sinuses and he wants to coat your throat. Mm. You know, it's funny you said sinuses because I do get a blocked nose quite um often. Yeah, it's the weather. Yeah, the weather and sometimes I feel it's um the negativity energies try to block me from not connecting, you know. They're trying to always find a way to block something. So, yeah, just the thought. Yeah, I've tried to uh, unblock you for a die, by the way. Okay. Right. Might have weird visions now. Oh. No, you shouldn't. The sun is always the best way. Facing the sun is okay. always the best way to... to and connecting, doing the breathing and connecting. And you know me and my, in the, the um, mm -hmm. doing the decrees every night, doing <laughs> decrees, doing decrees, decrees. Mm -hmm. Believe in them. That's what got me where I am. <laughs> I'm, I, I have a hard time meditating or focusing. So I, I do the maybe 10 minutes of sitting there doing the breathing that I do, I do decrease. I can't help it. Anyway, so I don't have anything else. I, I can't see anything else. Do you, is there anything else that you'd feel? I don't see anything in the house. Do you see anything in the house, Phil? That would have gone ages ago. <laughs> it's pretty clear. That's good. <laughs> Apart from your brother now and again. That's about it. <laughs> That's the only evil thing mm -hmm. else. Mm -hmm. You're not having a card then? No. <laughs> I'm going to try to save some time. <laughs> I took a lot of precious time off you guys already. We love you. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Three, the three musketeers, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. I think, uh, have we missed Gabriel? Gabriel. Gabriel. Gabriel, yeah. yeah. Is she next? Hello. Hello. I thought you were Gabriel then. Gabriel. <laughs> the Gabriel. angel. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But you don't mind. I was going to be Gabriel if I was a boy. That was the plan. Mm. There you go. <laughs> Sorry about that. I was making some tea. What's up, lady? I was I was I could... Looks like I just saw yeah. you. What's going on? I just messaged you the other day. That's probably why. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> I was needing to make a decision. I'm like, Deb's always got some sound device. Let me message her. <laughs> um, I have a, a little bit of like pressure in my lungs. Um, might just be from smoking, but i um, been having more uh, shoulder and hand pain. So I was wondering if you guys could just take a look and let me know what you see. I'll give you a link for all that scans, yeah? All right, thank you. Attachment. You have an attachment in the middle of your back. Not right here, I'm actually the upper, upper back, oh. middle. Okay. That's where the pressure is coming from. Okay. That's helpful to know. Marcus. His name is Marcus. Marcus. Where did he find me? Marcus Lawrence. He's from Chicago. He just happened to be. I'm going to find you. Okay. He's just wandering around. <laughs> well, I'm glad he did, in a sense, because then we can help him. Jesus is here helping him too. So he's ready to release himself after I explained about the, his God spark. He's ready to go. Thank you. Much love. All right, he's gone now. Let's heal that area. How is it feeling now? I feel a lot better. It feels a lot lighter. And that kind of tugging on my back is like dissipating. Yeah. <sighs> Thank you. Do you have anything, Phil? Uh, very warm. The pain up, but everyone's got this pain back problem tonight and it's creating havoc to my back but uh, yeah have you got a new idea or a new plan spiritually any plan huh? have you got a new idea or sort of something new that's happening spiritually yeah I've been trying to figure out like what's my next step am I gonna like spiritually based like I want to branch out to other platforms like YouTube and stuff but I need to figure out how to you know, um, do all that, like, 
but also I was thinking about moving and that's been heavy on my mind. Like if we're gonna move together or separately or what's the next like step for me right now? So um, that has been weighing heavy on me. Yeah. Uh, whatever you decision you make is good. Whatever decision you make is, will be a good one. Spiritually. Okay. Yeah. Right. Tell us where. Okay. Why don't you tonight join the get a YouTube studio and start one? Let's do it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what everybody's been saying. Even my little niece, she's ten. She's yeah. like, I want to watch your videos. <laughs> Just do, oh, just do a couple of minute video on YouTube. Do it on a okay. private one first. If you want. Okay. Right, tell us when. You, you need a card. No. You need some advice but no. Uh, this is a card that I think is the best in the card. So it's blessings. That's, I don't think there's anything better than that. Yeah, I feel like that's what's coming in. You're getting extra blessings off the angels at this time. So you, you might have a bit of guidance on your next path with that. Yeah. Okay. I definitely feel connected to them. I really appreciate this. Thank you okay. so much, and the stores. Love Thank you guys. You. Love you too, honey. Thank you. Next one is Cindy. Cindy. Cindy? Yes. Cindy. Can you see me? Yeah. That would be mommy. Pardon me? I said that, that would be mommy. <laughs> yes, it would be. <laughs> My beautiful daughter. Be Gabrielle's mommy. Yes. What's happening, Cindy? Oh, I just... I have aches and pains, of course, but, um, you know, I had the surgery on my shoulder and mm -hmm. two weeks after that, I rolled my ankle and I just, it's getting to that time of year and I'm not happy at my work. And again, like Abby, I'm trying to figure out, you know, we, we we're going to move, move together move apart and I'm just really tired. Keep getting messages that, that wait until these three months are over. What are you getting, Phil? I'm just doing anyway. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I keep getting a message to wait for this time. This this couple months are over. I've yeah. been getting that too. Yeah. No, I don't think it's a good time at the precise moment. moment no. You know that that uh, this is a time where things are going to start happening. Yeah. You can hold off for a few months. Is it giving you headaches just thinking about it? Do you get headaches um, thinking about it? Mm. Yes, I have. Yeah, yeah I really, you know, tonight I'm getting more of the symptoms of the, 
I know. I, I usually do. That's what happens to me normally, and I'm not getting that this time. I'm getting messages. <laughs> you have to find a way of releasing that, but I've been told you'll get signs to help you, and I would wait three months. You'll get the signs to guide you. You'll get that during the, during the journey. Yeah. It's probably why I've been feeling yeah. so stuck. Mm. You're not like stuck. If, yeah, you're not stuck. Maybe impatient is the better I, I, word. I was going to say impatience. You'd read me yeah. right. That's exactly what I was going to say. Yeah. 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 I'm impatient. I'm very impatient. Uh -huh. Aren't I? Sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, you know, number one, I'm, uh, yeah, not the best. I'm not the best patient. I'm so used to being the caregiver. That And now that I said impatient, yeah, I'm not liking it's the answers I'm not getting that I'm getting frustrated with yeah yeah that makes sense yeah yeah that's wonderful but I did I had a I keep getting these sensations on my left back shoulder blade I, I'm thinking they're downloads but it's like a prickly feeling And I was just curious if they were downloads. No. No, there's someone near around you when that happens. I get them on my when there's somebody near me. Somebody or something. Might so ask, you, might ask. Be contact. you might be getting contacted. Yeah. If it's very Getting prickly, one. if it's contacted by some, it's very prickly. It could even be a uh, dromedary. Right, right. Yes. Very... Thank you. That makes sense. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's when I know somebody's close by. I, I, and I'll, I'll ask, what is it? I, I don't say who, I say what. <laughs> Are you covering everything? <laughs> and the and uh, the first name or, or stuff, it, it, the first thing that comes to you is, is who or what it is. Thank you. I just, <laughs> I've never thought of that. Thank you so much. I'm so blessed that you guys are here doing this. And thank you so much for all your love and work. And you're welcome. I hope to be able to do this one day myself. And say stop. Stop. Oh, go ahead. Do you want me to shuffle or stop? <laughs> shuffle. Stop. Oh, there you go. All right, music. You need some music in your life, but frequency. Yes. I will it, definitely do that. It will help you get grounded. More. Okay. Yes, I, my daughter just mentioned that to me. <laughs> you need to get outside more. But thank you so much, Phil and Rick okay. and Deb. You're welcome. Next, Leslie, Leslie Ann Fight. Leslie? Hello. Hello. Hi, Leslie. Nice to be here. Good to see you. I um I just want to situate myself somewhere else. Hang on a sec. Thank you. Wow, what a lot of energy you folks put into these calls. It's amazing. I think it's my first time here, um, introduced by Dawn. Yeah. Um, now, having listened to everybody, I don't, I don't think I have any like illnesses. I have some, you know, I'm 65, so I've got a few skeletal issues and such. But um, hearing everybody else, I'm thinking, I, I'd like to ask for possibly a healing for my daughter who's very sensitive um, and having a really tough time with this world situation she's she's single lives with two cats and she says that's what keeps her going um, 
keeps her on this earth plane. So anyway, I'm not sure. I know it's already been a long day for you. I don't know if you have time to scan me or not, yes. uh, but I can put my daughter's picture up if you want to jump there. Um, does your daughter uh, know that she that you're doing this or? No, because I just discovered you guys okay. today, but uh, she and I are out of about 25 family, the only ones who haven't gone for the jab. So we're pretty alone. And, yeah. Um, huh. Okay, we can, do, we can do both of you. We can ask her higher self permission to, to scan her too. But yeah, that's fine. Thank you. Uh, you uh, are you uh, are you are you in Canada or the U.S.? I'm I'm in Canada. Because no, you're all I, on the, I the wet the coast. <laughs> What's your daughter's name? That's Courtney. Courtney. Okay. Do you want to just leave a picture there a bit longer, please? Yes. What I tend to do is ask a spirit. I tend to do um, can, can you talk again, please? I, I'm sorry, I got yep. to come up in front of you. Not you, that's our yeah. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. Your daughter's quite healthy. Good, because she's a smoker and she's been worried about lung issues because she's had a lot of, uh, she's been trying to quit. Um, and, you know, for a few weeks, she's not smoking at all. And then she's coughing and sounding a bit bronchial, but. She's, she's very artistic and she's highly emotional and uh, I'm at this point many days a week kind of talking her off a ledge but I know she has a lot of, a lot of anger and your daughter is an angelic and um, does she does she does she feel things feel energies I think she's an empath and she's feeling everybody's energy she's absolutely an empath yeah absolutely yeah, yeah so and she's aware of that yeah she needs to learn to release their the energies that she's feeling from everybody else needs she needs to learn how to release all that that's not her energy she doesn't it's not her burden to carry and that's that's something that empaths have to learn to do and what all her feelings are not hers and she, she i don't think she realizes that Okay. So all I mean, this, she, I think she all knows this, all this. Well, all this anxiety she's feeling is isn't even hers. What about anger? That's not she, even hers. Okay, because she's looking for people to like. You know, I, I, she has a stepdad, and he's been a wonderful dad to my kids. But she's kind of placing a lot of blame on him and mm -hmm. things that happened, and mm -hmm. for this anger part, but. Uh, She's looking at for someone to be her, the scapegoat for her anger, and it, it, she's not realizing even that anger is not even hers. It's it's everybody else's that she's that, that that's piling onto her, and she she's not releasing all this energy that she's picking up during the day. It's not hers. Okay. Yeah. So, what would be? How would you? What would you say to her if she was here? I, I tell her to um, take a crystal and sit and do deep breathing at the, at the end of the day, her work day, whatever it is, and release all the emotions that she has into a crystal. Just take okay. it, whether it's fear, all the anger, anxiety, and push it into this, like take it and push it into this crystal like a wand like one of these okay empty it out into it every day so that she doesn't take it out on anybody else and then stick that in the dirt you know, like a, a plant with just a, a pot with just dirt in it 
Okay. So that she can charge, recharge it and put it in the sunlight. Yeah. Put dirt in the sunlight so it charges, it recharges itself and empties that, that negative energy into the dirt and the sun recharges it. Okay. That crystal. We're not getting much sun on Vancouver <laughs> Island right now. Well, even if it's, you know, cloudy day, the sun's still out. It still has rays. Yeah. Okay. So if it's the moon, if the, you could do it in the moonlight. Yeah. Or like cats. Kitties. <laughs> they have the town crier cat. Oh. <laughs> Losing his hearing. So he comes outside. <laughs> um, you can also do a med meditation um, and align her chakras. There's um, some great ones online with Jason Stevenson. Um, for someone who doesn't know how to uh, meditate, he does uh, med uh, meditations that he guides you on, so guided meditations. He's excellent. He's got a very soft Australian accent. He's got probably 300 meditations for beginners. Is it Stevenson to, with a B? Uh, Steven, Jason Stevenson with uh, C-E-P-H-E-N-S-O-N, I think. Okay. Um, I'll look for him on YouTube. He's on YouTube. Yeah, he's okay. excellent. That's how I learned. I When I first woke up, I didn't know how to meditate. That's how I yeah. learned how to meditate. It's challenging for some of us. Yeah. yeah. But he does guided meditation for everything. He even okay. has it for, he has it for children. Oh, good. It's one. Okay. It's one. Um, Phil, do you have any advice? Uh, I've, uh, I've put a release mechanism inside her head. So just check it, check it now and again, see, see if the stress of everyone's lives that she's keeping out of gets released. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because yeah, I, I wondered if she has some kind of attachment or something that's, you know, fueling some of the heavy emotions and stuff that just keeps her stuck. But I don't see an attachment on her. It's a, good. A, it's the people around her. That's the problem. Okay. Like, like, yeah, okay. I think that's it's, really good news. Yeah, if, if there's, you know, you have to remember that the majority of Canadians are, are now vaccinated and you've got that energy. Yeah. Um, around you and um yeah and they're you know if you're not vaccinated they're hostile towards you well my husband's done that and yeah like it, it's, it, a, it's 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 a program yeah. it's a program in the vaccine that makes you want to they defend it yeah. to the utmost and the best way yeah. the best way is to have joy in your life and happy and raise you raise everything basically right because uh okay. Clear yeah. It and, out. yeah and staying in in your heart space and in, in, in love is the best way of fending that off yeah. so she's got to find her joy and, and love in her heart and not and not carry the burden of, of that anxiety and their and their energy she's got to go back to her heart space right and stay in love and joy thank you and that's what we, we're trying to do. With, that's what we, he tried to do with her. So we, if she needs our help, you know, she can always contact us. Okay. We're on Facebook. Appreciate that. Yeah. Don, okay. Don, knows how to, Don knows how to reach us. Yeah, I, I don't think she's on Facebook. But, I mean, she's really kind of isolated herself to some extent for protection. But yeah. isolation is hard because, I mean, she's well, not... She, she is an empath and she's very kind of introspective and like I say, artistic and stuff, but uh, she feels hugely. <laughs> well, um, I, I have free calls to Canada. We can, I can always give her a call. We, we can talk to her. Um, if, okay. If we to. We don't, I don't have okay. a problem doing that too. So thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, we'll make ourselves available. Thanks so much. You're a card for us. Um, okay, yes, do, do we want? We, do you want some healing as well? Right? Yeah, she does. I would love some healing. <laughs> Did you do healing you. for her already, Phil? No. Just say stop <laughs> for your daughter. For your daughter. 
stop. And at celebration. Celebration. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know. What. Uh, I think she's going to have a life changing thing. The life's changing for the better. Yeah. That's what the card says. Anyway. Thank you. Okay. Did you want some healing and a scan? Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Leslie, Father just puts a um, his energy through you. He put the mineral from Sirius through through you. Your daughter also got it. And any pets that you have in your house, if if any. Um, but he put a a healing energy through your bloodstream. And he mentioned something about circulatory, your circulatory system. I don't know whether you have. Um, issues with your circulatory system? I have varicose veins like my mother on my legs. Okay, well, that... <laughs> Some are quite bad. Yes, yeah, that's yes. part of your circulatory system. Yeah. Um, and you mentioned healing your heart, um, your heart muscle and mm -hmm. your arteries. Okay. Now, whether they yeah, I've had some sort of, I've had some tweaks of sort of pain around my heart area the last, I don't know, few weeks at least. Well, he's done some um, repair and um, he did re repair and this was, now this is for future. So you won't have any issues in the future. So whether it, you know, we, we can do, we do future healing so that you won't have any heart attacks or, or um, issues with the, um... okay, I just lost the word, <laughs> arteries. <laughs> I can see them. Okay. <laughs> uh, so he did artery, artery repair, so you won't have any blockages in your arteries. If they're all clear. He also Thank did you. something with the arteries here. Here. Okay. There's main arteries, carotid, carotid arteries. He's also done clearing here. He didn't show me anything else that needed to be worked on. Um, we also have a contract that we had uh, con before we came here that said, I want to experience certain illnesses. So if there's any of those that you're experiencing, that means that you wanted to experience them. So we can't stop those. Okay. Although Phil tries. <laughs> what, what I'm getting is uh, you've got a, a felt, your wrist, 
You're not getting arthritis in your wrist, are you? Uh, so well, I, I fell out of a tree when I was 11 and broke them both. So I've had wrist issues yeah. a lot. And I was a typist and stuff like that. So, right. um, yeah. Yeah, the, the problem you might be getting is uh, your life is getting very stressful at the moment, worrying about your daughter, worrying about everyone else. You got to find a way of releasing it or it'll get released on your wrists. Okay. And you'll have, you'll, you'll, you'll have arthritis. So you've got to find a way, meditation, grounding, uh, visiting woodland, that sort of thing, lift your vibration to get rid of it all. Okay. Um, are you also an empath? Um, I, I don't know if I'm an empath. I think I'm quite intuitive, but uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I don't, honestly don't know. I, I'm sort of been the caretaker for my birth family forever since I was a child. My mom lost two kids, her first one and my brother when he was 16. And I sort of became mom at a very early age to my siblings. So I've always kind of carried that and uh, yeah, shoulder and neck issues. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> you get some of that. So you, um, you also need to release some of the feeling that you're responsible for everybody else. You need to put yourself first. Mm. Yeah. A lot of times you put yourself last and you're the last one that you take care of and you have to reverse that because right now you're the one that suffers and there's no one to take care of you. Yeah, I am. I am aware of that and I'm trying to work on that. Um, I think yeah, uh, it's hard think, when it's been your whole life. <laughs> yeah, I think a bit it, it, try a bit playing as well. You try sorry? Try and play with like with being a child. You ought to try and what you missed when you were younger to have a bit more fun, if you know what I mean. Very yes. Right. Yes. You should you should this be the this should be the time of your life that you should be enjoying your life. Mm. Yeah. And you've never really done that. You've never put yourself yeah. first. And you really need to start putting yourself first and putting some enjoyment in your life. Even though it's crappy right now and the world looks crappy, you should take time out for you to do something you like to do. Yeah, if it's watching a movie, it's, so there's it. nothing wrong with that. It's not being selfish. Right. Can I turn the movie over? <laughs> What's that? Can I turn it off, the movie? <laughs> I don't know. If life's a movie, you're not yeah. a good one at the moment. Yeah. Thank you so much. I was to stop. Tell them when to stop, stop for yours. Yeah. Uh, I'll do that one. Okay. Ah. Huh? This is a cracker. Forgiveness. This is forgiving yourself, I think. For how you put up. Yeah. So all the <laughs> anger that you have around and stuff like that, forgiveness. Forgive yourself for, for missing out a lot of what you could have had. But you 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 took that mile and, and looked after everyone, didn't you? And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're very You're welcome. <clears throat> Next is Victoria. Vicky? Vicky? Hi, Victoria. Hi. Hello, everyone. Hi, guys. Hi. Mm -hmm. oh, um, I don't know if I can get Bobby here. Bobby, come here. I'm kind of sleeping. I was... um. A lot of things happened this last while, and I don't even know where to begin. But first off, could we get a scan and, you know, just check up on Bobby and whatnot? Okay. And some healing, obviously. Healing yeah. for both. Remember what Bobby looks like? Yeah. I don't need to see a picture. <laughs> I remember him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we don't either. <laughs> 
Today he hasn't eaten anything. The last few days he's been very picky with food and he's been kind of rejecting um, what we give him, but he's been eating like the meat part, but he would refuse the vegetable and even to some point, even rice, but he's eating very little rice. It's just his appetite has been not so good these last few days. I think for Darby's appetite, it's good because he's eat, just eating the meat. He's, getting, he's a bit fussy, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, he yeah. is. Yeah. Just today, he hasn't eaten anything, but when I take him out, he's like, it's been stormy the last couple of days, so we didn't get um, to walk him, but when whenever I can, he gets walked, and he walks ahead of me. He walks fast. I'm like, he, he does an hour and something walk every time. And he takes me where he wants to go. And he's been going to all these new places. Um, he used to just take me to the park or go to the usual circle, you know, the you know circle we go on. But he's been taking me out into the neighborhood, like to different areas and exploring, like, okay. Uh, he's like, he's so adventurous. And you really can't tell that the guy is, you know, that age because he has so much energy when he's outside. But of course, you know the home situation, right? Yeah. He, he bears a lot here. Hey, but oh, baby's there. Hey. <sighs> okay. Hey, wait, baby. Stay, stay. There you go. Yeah. He said hi earlier. Hi, baby. Good boy, Bobby. Good boy, baby. Yeah, you're hiding your face. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy, baby. He always snuggles. That's what he does. <clears throat> Good boy, baby. Has she been going to the bathroom well? Um. He does do his PP. The other one. Uh, the other one. Well, I think because it was raining the last couple of days and he hasn't been eating properly. I think yesterday I didn't see him go poo poo. I think that's the problem. Yeah, he's not eating his rice and stuff, and he needs to, but but when I take him out to walk he will poo but then when he poo it's kind of like soft stool you know what I mean because he needs to eat dog food or some substance to keep his you know stool more solid but this guy's been picky the last few days mm. I think he doesn't out with a change of routine as well with the weather yeah. change stormy weather not get taken out yeah yeah I, yeah I think He's... that won't help well, right now it's, I don't think it's raining, but I will definitely walk him after this session. Mm -hmm. yeah, I and then he'll be all happy again. And, you know, he'll eat, he ate some rice yesterday. I mean, I tried your idea about carrots and he rejected like the whole plate. <laughs> well, you have, to, you have to mix it with the food, not just a whole thing of carrots. I, I tried the sweet potatoes too. They're, sweet potatoes are better than carrots. But um, so, so, so you mean... Actually, um, mush it. And cut it up in, in little little chunks in with the meat. And I did I did do that. I I, I cut the I use scissors to cut his meat and stuff into the rice. Um, it's just 
when he was younger, he would eat uh, carrots and sweet potato, but for the last few years, it, he didn't develop that appetite for it. Yeah. Well, it's just better for him to have some vegetables. Yeah, I put try to put some greens in it, but most of the time he won't eat it. Like, I mean, he might get the odd one inside. Yeah. Canned pumpkin. We can try that. Um, yeah. So, but what? How how does he look? Um, I, well, I saw that his intestines um were inflamed a little bit, so it did healing on his stomach and his intestines because he that didn't look like he was um cleaning out his you know going. Yeah. To yeah, he feeling on uh, on that and um, yeah, I mean, like his poop comes out um, kind of dark, like almost yeah. black. But yeah. then again, my he's been getting liver, so you know, liver will do that too. Yeah. Well, he should be fine. Yeah, I think so too. I mean, like he. He gets a lot of energy. Like he's always, when he needs it, he comes to me and he snuggles yeah. and then my light would just go off on him and he would just keep getting what he need. And, you know. Um, yeah. yeah, there's a, uh, it's, it, yeah, yeah, he's fine. I just uh, did the healing on his stomach, his intestines and his, um, his bowel and everything. He's, he looks okay after that. There's like so many things that happened and I think I could share a couple if you want to hear it. Okay. Okay. Um, well, we, um, I'm pretty sure everyone is going through this. It's not just me, but everyone is going through a lot of travels during the nighttime when you're asleep. And, and, a, lot of <laughs> and a lot of connections with the soulmate, soul family and whatnot, you know, whatever it may be. I had one, um, which, um, which I've seen, which was I was pregnant, like my tummy is like five or six months, like it's quite round. And there was a guy and, and I was waiting for this guy um, who's supposed to be my partner from that, that timeline. And, you know, I was waiting for him on this bridge, this bridge that has a portal that was open. Mm. So, you know, another, um, I mean, there's different things to look at that dream, but you know, it could be also the uh, the divine twin flame connections that's happening during this period with the portals open. But you know, but also hybrid children. You know what I mean? Or just a lot of things going on. You know, it seems like a lot of things are happening at the same time. If you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, I was wondering, um, did you guys get anything like that? Like, you know, the dreams, like going in, I think I was, the portals are open and it's available. So I could just jump in if I want to or whatnot, but I, I keep getting disrupted in my dreams because my dad calls and everything like that. So I don't sleep that much. And when I do, I'm out there doing something, you know, and I know what I'm doing when I'm out there. And um, yeah, so did you guys get any lucid dreaming like that or any twin flame connection, you know? I've never had that, but I don't want to be pregnant. <laughs> 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 uh, the problem is a lot of times I'm doing worry works. I'm causing the chaos when I'm asleep. Uh, You're causing the chaos. I'm causing it because I'm what I'm doing it, uh, with worry work. Uh, I can never help you there because I don't, I sleep, I sleep. I don't, I, I don't remember anything. Hmm. I've never I have had no that. Idea. I, I always, I used to have the blue dreams and that's like angelic blue dreams. And then I knew I was connected. And I, this is when I was very young. And uh, as soon as I ate one, I knew I was doing one of the, and it's a real dream. It's not a, it's not a dream, but it's real. And I used, mm -hmm. to love, I used to love them. I haven't had one for a long time. But uh, didn't you jump in the portal? What wow, an opportunity. Well, I, I got waking up on my dad, okay? So I, mm. well, whatever happened over there happens over there. You can't. Um, 
Yeah, my dad tends to call for me early in the morning and I sleep very late. Yeah. I sleep around five in the morning. And then when he calls me, there goes my, my journey. Um, so I, I see some things, but I remember all my journeys. Everywhere I go, whether it's a vision, I, you know, there's a lot of um, visual coming in, especially with, you know, during the time that there was the uh, Pearl Harbor Remembrance Day, I was seeing a lot of things. I was seeing things back into the Columbus, Christopher Columbus, that period of time when they were going through the, like marching, um, the merchant ships going out to pick up stuff, trading and stuff with other countries and stuff. And I saw how they picked up um, some fruit trees and plants and stuff and how they grew, actually tried to attempt it to grow vegetation and whatnot, the herbs and medicinal herbs that they need inside the ships. So, you know, there were a lot of things that was going on that I was, um, that I was seeing, um, you know, wide awake and also in the dream state. Um, I, I think you're connecting to the consciousness of, you know, like human consciousness. I actually pick yeah, them up. Definitely. I do that a lot. Yeah. You know, there was a, um, a situation where I... I had to think about like you know this is something that I don't even know if I should even speak here um but let's just say um your consciousness is somewhere else an identical copy of your consciousness or part of your soul you know another you duplicate you let's just put it that way I don't want to use that word a duplicate you um just like you know that duplicate me is out there doing all the warrior work. And I know that I've been doing that for a long time. Mm. And you know what I'm talking about, Phil, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh -huh. So, you know, aside from, you know, being on the crafts, being off planet and everything like that, you know, the situation um, underground and whatnot, those, I begin, like, you hear about it sometimes on, on like on YouTube with other people and you hear about things and you know I have my own experience but I don't want to say too much mm -hmm. but you know how how would we know I mean like if that was really happening or where there's a psyop taking place mm -hmm. because what I'm saying is that there could be a manipulation inside inside your consciousness and in your dream state visions and whatnot mm. so i mean this is a legit question so i'm asking here you know the answer i don't know <laughs> yeah I, I know my answer, <laughs> my answer but... is i don't know uh, no the, but the, seriously the, because the, the what, hijacking is for yeah, real it deliberate i deliberately program when i do worry work to get damaged if i get damaged I either go to the angelic world and get repaired, but mm -hmm. I, I keep markings. So if it's a claw mark, I've had a claw mark from my head at the back down to that, my spine. I keep it. I keep it as a memory, and then I know it's real. So I deliberately keep that, because mm -hmm. then I've got a physical uh, to, to show. It goes after a few days. It doesn't last that long, but... It's, yeah. uh, it's the memory. The only thing I think I mentioned before, the only thing that was bad was I got two sprained ankles, so I couldn't get out of bed hardly. Yeah, one sprained ankle, you cannot, but two, you know. <laughs> yeah, so I, my, my kids will, you've just been to bed and you sprain your ankles twice in two places. And it's me astro work. I've come back with that memory, and the memory will stay with me for a day or two. Yeah. The there were moments where I do come back battered, but it's yeah. less these days. And I um, I tend to journey off myself, like I like on, on those um, adventures, let's call them. Yeah. Even though it's work. Um, Films. <laughs> or whatever they are. <laughs> I tend to be alone, mm. alone instead of with the group. And it's only, it's really rare to be in a group, but going through, I don't know why I'm there alone, but I kind of guess why. 
um, just a lot of guessing, but there is some really big figures that come in to in that state as one. I don't want to use names, like really big figures, but inside there, they. Um, I don't know if if you if you're in your journeys out there, right? Your films, are you alone, or do you ha or do you have I, someone there? I have a team. You no, know, a lot what? of times, a lot of times I'm on my own. Yeah, I, I've had Michael with me now and again, and sometimes if it's a battle, I, I bring in a team. There's a team that I'm attached, uh, linked to, basically. I don't really know if I'm, I know there will be a team because obviously you work with a group of people, but yeah. for, for, for majority of the trips, I, I, I seriously am alone. Like there's no one there. And the only people who are there, I'll be revealing too much, but <laughs> are, are soldiers oh. that I call upon to come in, but I am alone, like literally, um, literally alone. And, and I'm just wondering, why do we have to have single people go out there? Like just one person going out there uh. to scout, to, 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 to take down barriers, you know? Sometimes when you're when it's young, young, you're better fighter, basically. Yeah, it's the worry. Not very you, good. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm pure fighter. I, I I put myself in a few predicaments. Michael saved my life a couple of times, and he reminds me every time he meets me. <laughs> and no, I didn't. There, I didn't. There I, was one time. Yeah. Was yeah. Too, there was one time I was completely. Like, I think they ganged up on me really hard that mm -hmm. time. That time, I, um, a friend of mine told me they needed help down in San San Jose area because the firestorm and everything all around. I cleared the sky for them mm -hmm. because you know he said people would die, so I cleared it. And when I cleared it, I got attacked really hard. <laughs> If we're doing that, yeah. and so it's, that, that might have been a plan, that might have been a they were getting ready for you, you know what I mean? You gotta be I careful may have fallen that. for that, yeah. yeah. You gotta be careful. Of that. Well, I don't do that anymore because I was told to, you know, because, um, you know, what happens in the matrix, just you know, I was told not to involve and engage myself personally, it's just my higher aspects. Um, you know, once you exit the matrix, you don't need to go back in if you know what I mean. It's a choice, right? Yeah. And uh, yeah. So, 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 so basically, that baby bump, it's my etheric baby, right? I don't know. Because <laughs> I, I got all right. Hybrid. I'm sorry. We have to get on. We have so many people right. waiting to get for healing. This, this right. has been going on since 11. It's 3.34 now. I haven't eaten all day. Rick, <laughs> or Rick Rent. Rick. All right. Thank you, guys. Sorry, it, 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 Victoria, it's one of them things you can surmise at quite a lot of different areas. What I would do is write down each part and work it out. We need to have a session just for you and Phil to go over all this stuff. <laughs> That's true. Guys, sir, it's fascinating. It really is, Victoria. You, yeah. You've got a lot. Rick? Thank you, guys. We love you. Thanks, Victoria. Um, yeah. Wait, wait, Becky, well, one sec, one sec. Oh, card for her. Okay. Enchantment. <laughs> Enchant entrapment or enchantment? Enchantment. <laughs> no, you, you get that when you go <laughs> Enchantment. Oh, what does enchantment mean? It, it, it basically means you need to be connected to your inner child and recapture the childhood magic. You need some fun for it. Some fun for you. I was I was I was tapped in yesterday. Hmm. What were you doing yesterday? 
I was just enjoying myself. I was just doing, I was doing a lot of writing. My soul came, took, took over and I was doing a lot of content writing and it was, it was very childish. I even, I even um, took pictures of the gummy candies I bought and, and posted it. So I was a real child yesterday, but today um, the energy changed mm. a little bit. And I, I was supposed to go out and, um, and, and, and you told me about the session going on today, so I didn't get to go out today. But Think yeah. about the energy changed and Bobby's not eating. Got yeah. it. Mm. Well, he, fair, fair enough. Maybe I'm absorbing too much energy from us, you know, outside and stuff. Mm. Yeah, thank you so much. That's a thank good you. tip. Yeah. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. Right. I saw some a Becky Bucci from uh I thought we did a did we do yep. Becky? Yeah. Okay. We did. okay. Uh I'm next one, next one was Fred, but uh, I didn't find him. He left. Fred left. Mm -hmm. mm. So the next one is Joanne. Does it mean? Hi there, Vinarik. Oh, it's Joan. Hi, yeah. Joan. She, she wants us to go into her past life. That's oh. next week's show. <laughs> <laughs> Joking. <laughs> Have you ever had any past lives, Joan? Yes, she has. Hello. Joan. You're on Have mute you now. Oh, okay. There what, you go. What's Joan? the past life you've been told, or have I told you anything? I might have told you. Uh, I think it's. I think if it's. Uh, I just want to confirm if it's. Uh, it's the Empress in Ming Dynasty. Hmm. Who told you that, mate? I don't. Know. <laughs> <laughs> mm. uh, I I I see that one in my dream. Uh, I want to see if it's because they told me I think I have to. Uh, it's coming into my root chakra or uh, probably like a healing from the past. You're also in Egypt as well. Uh -huh. You were like a soldier in Egypt, a male. A male soldier. Mm -hmm. You were not a soldier. You were looking after the... Uh, you were connected to like the gods of Egypt as a soldier. Then. You were mm -hmm. like a guard, an extra guard. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's see. You want me to check your dream to see... Yes, it's please. correct. So what was it? You were the Ming di Dynasty, was that? Ming Dynasty, yeah. Dynasty. You were an empress, did you say? <laughs> Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. I, where it was when you were saying it, I was wandering off into your Egypt life. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
you, you did have a life there. I'm not sure if it was an empress then. I think you exaggerated yourself. <laughs> you know what I mean? But uh, you, you were around that time. You might have been the sister of the empress and you wanted to be empress. As a sister. I think I think it was. I think you called yourself mm -hmm. the Empress, if you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But you, you lived in the royal, in the temple and everything, in the main temple. Oh, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Better life than this one, isn't it? <laughs> 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 I would have wanted to be an Empress in the main temple. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, the the root chakra is I think it was like coming out to that. Oh, they told me about it. You think it's sucking your root chakra some of the residue from that? Hmm. You just need to try and ground it then. That's to be grounded, yeah. Yeah, ground it. It's come out of the it's come out of the door, you know, the door's open a bit, it's come out, the memories hit you in a dream state, and it's just stuck with you, and if you reach out, it's grounded. No, no need to have it anymore. You want a card? Sure. Things when? Stop. You know, I shuffle these really well. Uh, truth and integrity. <laughs> I don't like that word. What is that? <laughs> truth, we had it before. Truth and I can't say that word. Integrity. That's truth the word. Integrity. <laughs> oh, truth and integrity. I'm going to rub that card oh, awesome. out. Yeah, so that basically means when you make spiritual mistakes, ask the angels to give you guidance. That's all. Like a miracle kind of. But I don't think you make that many to be honest. That card doesn't mean anything. So. Okay. Oh, that's okay. Good. Thank okay. you. Thank you. The next one is Don. Don? Is Don still here? Um, I don't know. No. Oh. I don't see him. Okay. You know, I'm going down here. I've got 169 messages. Samara is here. Samara. No. Okay. Ileana. Ileana. Can you say something? Yes, I'm Hi. here. Thank you. Hi, Ileana. Hello. Thank you for all your job. <laughs> so I have uh, two questions. My husband is uh, sick, was sick for a long time, but now is in a very bad condition. I was in the hospital with him four days, three or four hours every day. And I was so exhausting when I left the hospital. I can write, it's like I don't have any, any energy. So I decided to stop to go to the hospital and waiting until he feel better. He's back at home and he's now in a, one house for rehabilitation. But uh, I don't know how I can, maybe I know, <laughs> finish the relationship because he is very toxic person. And I try to help him the best way I can. And everything I do it look like he's back 
uh, back on me in the bad way. So, and the question is how I can close and finish this relationship and be protected. So you want to end your relationship with your husband? Yes. I feel like he takes my energy all the time. Okay. I think, uh, yeah. Yeah, when you were in hospital, was it was it him or was it the hospital? Because there's a lot of uh, energy vampires in hospitals that take the energy yeah. to survive. But every time I help him, in his mind say, Oh, he do it something, he don't do it the right way. He's, she, he say, I am against of him, something like that. He's in not in good, healthy condition, mentally and emotionally. He feel like everything around uh, hurt him. And uh, everything I'm doing is in the good way. I don't feel like I have a good eyes to see that. So I work, I talk with a social worker and look like a, everything I do and is, is back in the bad way. <laughs> yeah, my, yeah it, it sounds like you're married to my sister's husband. <laughs> <laughs> the the uh, energy She's going drain, through the same thing. Yeah, the energy draining would be because he's ill and spiritually he's drawing your energy to help him yeah so he's actually taking your energy because he's yeah. in yeah. yeah but a lot a lot do that a lot do that. Uh, 13 years 13 years for the last three months was so hard for me he don't listen anything he doing whatever he like and uh, he broke his hip and the leg because even if he don't feel good he tried to do it he fell, he fell ill, he fell any place where he go. He's not able to drive what he's doing. He's in terrible bad condition. I tried to talk with the doctor and mentally he mixed the reality and the fantasy. And he doesn't accept he's in bad condition. Mm -hmm. What's that shield with him? Hmm? What's wrong with him? Everything. <laughs> he has diabetes, high blood pressure, uh, um, depression. I think so. He has uh, symptoms of dementia and um, forgot something. And he thinks everything is against of him. And he's aggressive sometimes with the people around. He has uh, uh, arguments with everything. Nothing is good, nothing is perfect. His, fir his first word in the morning is shed, heal, bad, bad words all the time. I say, you can say good morning, something like that. I do it, everything for him, prepare the food, fix everything because he can walk. But I arrive to the point when I say I can't handle anymore because it's very heavy. I don't have all the tools at home. So finally he has said he can stay at home and go to rehabilitation in one house, special house for veterans. And he has um, everything, it's bad character and many things. So, so did they put him in that home? Right now, yes, because he asked him the last, I looking for the house last three months but he denied all the time. The, the people call him and he say, no, 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 I don't need that. So I talked with the social worker, what I can do it. And he, she told me, we can do it if he doesn't accept that. So finally, two days ago, he accepted that. And he, they pick up him to that place. Now he's not able to walk, he has a big pain, but he doesn't follow the instruction of the doctor. That is a problem. And in balance with everything, he can lose the memory, he can sustain for himself, he can sit down, he fell, and everything. So everything is in balance. So right now is in that place. 
but he planned to come back in one week. I say, no way. <laughs> I don't know he can handle uh, because his body is, is terrib in terrible bad condition. Right, but, but do you, do you so um, what is your out in this situation? Can you just wash your hands of him? Is it legally okay? That is why I need to check with the uh, legally uh, support with veterans because he is not able to take good decision for himself. And I don't like to be in that moment with him because every it's hard for everybody, not just for himself, for everybody around. He has issues with the policeman. He has some problems um, with everybody around. Yeah. Well, let me let's see. I don't think you have any attachments. I don't see okay. any on you. I yeah. don't see anything. No, nothing negative on you. Okay, father says, father says, we've made your decision. It's okay to go forward with this. It's okay to release him, to say, I'm done. I have no more. It's okay. okay. You don't have to feel guilty. You don't have to do this anymore. You can say, I don't want to be married to, I don't want to be with this man anymore. You don't have to take the abuse. Okay. You can take care of yourself. And say no more. There's no reason for you to go through this. Okay. You don't need permission. You can be the strong woman and say, no, I don't have to do this. Okay. It's okay. Okay, thank you. You're making the right decision for you. That's good. That's good. Okay. Nobody should be abused. That's not what the, that's not what you were here brought here for to be abused. You have to take care of you first. That's very important. Okay. He made his decision. That's his to be the way he is, and that's okay. Mm -hmm. Let him live his life, and that and that's his journey. Your journey is just as important. Okay. So don't feel guilty. You're doing the right thing. Okay. Thank you so much. Phil's doing healing over you. When he's done, we'll see what messages he has. You feel better? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you had a lot of negativity, obviously, what's happening at the moment. And uh, at the end of the day, it's your choice. You've got to make that decision. And if it's not working, it's not working. Why stall it? And, uh, yeah. Okay. You won't get negative karma or anything like that because at the end of the day, yeah. it's not working. That's right. So, Okay. That's right. Okay. You want a card? Okay. You want an oracle card, yeah? Yes. Um, let's stop. There you go. Good card. Divine, divide, divine. <laughs> <laughs> divine. Divine, divine guidance, guidance. <laughs> yeah divine guidance 
Okay. Uh, follow your intuition. Follow your intuition. You've told Perfect. us what your intuition is. You got to follow it. Okay. Follow what? To follow your intuition, and you are doing that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know that you know you're doing the right thing. Okay. Okay. And I have another question. Is my son? Is him? Uh, have some. Uh, you can see that now. He wake up at three o'clock a.m. He live in his apartment because the alarm, the smoke alarm, uh, are working. It a lot of uh, noise. Three a.m. So everybody wake up, wake up, and nobody's there. No smoke anywhere. Da, da, da. So he asked me, I don't know what's happened. That was exactly three a.m. in the morning. And uh, I have, uh, he has some issues with the imbalance, emotions, and digestions, and low back pain. And he wasn't able to be here because he's working. <laughs> but if it's possible, could you could you bring his picture closer to the camera? Yeah. And what's his name? Diego Chapella. So he knows that we're going to do healing. Uh, yes. He's very intuitive, but I don't know why he's not in good balance. Sometimes he doesn't tell me, but I know he has depression and a big problem with the digestions. And I don't know, I try, he's coming to this meeting many times, but always Saturday is busy. Did he get the vaccine? No. Good. He's got vertigo? No. You said he's off balance. Oh, the, the emotions. Oh. Yes. So one day can be so sad. He don't like to wake up. He don't like to eat. He don't like nothing. So it's hard to for me because sometimes he doesn't tell me anything sometimes i know because my granddaughter texts me mm -hmm. and he has the intuition some energy handle him Sometimes he go to the trees and be there early and try to have meditation and do it, things like that. Does he have an implant? Do you see an implant in his spine? Lower back, left hand side. It's not a small one.
kind of a, a rectangle. Okay, well, he had an implant in his lower back on the left-hand side uh, out of his spine. Okay. I don't, I'm not really sure who placed it there, but it would look pretty old. It's been there a long time. Okay. Um, it's gone now and that area has been healed. Okay, thank you. So, what did, so did you have anything? I was just looking at the implant. That's all. It was really an odd one, like old. Yeah, it it's really, really kind of was kind of big and bulky it was like an, I don't know where it came from like a 1990s telephone mobile yeah it was kind of weird looking um I don't know whoever put it there it was it was almost it was almost like it looked so ju it looked like I don't know who I it was it was it was an old 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 one so oh. whoever did it was using old technology oh okay it wasn't something but i'm sure that they were they were using him for something whoever was doing it but it was very ancient technology oh, okay so some recommendation for him I'm sorry. Uh, some recommendations for him. Um, he also could be an empath, which it, you know the same as other people. He's picking up everybody's energies, and you know, as an empath, you, you have to release energies that everybody else has that, that you pick up during the day. You pick in people's anger you're picking up people's anxiety so when you do that you're, it's not your own you have to release it because you don't it's not yours so you're taking it out on other people okay. it's not even your energy okay. so you need to get something gets a, a crystal to empty it empty it into and then put it in a a, a, a pot of dirt and to recharge your, the crystal you're emptying your that energy in it's people are so the, the world is so full of um negative energies right now people going through their own it, a lot of empaths are picking up all of that and they're not releasing it because it really we don't own it 
Okay. If somebody's having, if you overhear somebody having an argument, you're picking up that negative energy. Yeah. You're picking up someone. You want to pick up positive energy and just have that staying in your heart space and sending out love. You want to send your love out and change the the universe, not not the other way around. You don't want to pick up all, all the negative. You want to you want to overflow your the world with your positive energy. If you want it to be the opposite. So. By keeping our vibration high, we're affecting 18 miles around us. Mm -hmm. So we want to do that, not the other way. So that's what we try try and teach empaths. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Thanks. You're welcome. Thank you. All right. That really was last good. one. Last one? Mm -hmm. Oh, thank goodness, because I'm starving. <laughs> And Ziggy and Zeus are too, because they're screaming in the other room. You know why? Because <laughs> you haven't given them that mineral from that planet. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone else is going, right, but there. You're probably right. <laughs> who's the last one? Who's who's the last person? Uh, uh, it's all, uh, it's all done. Uh, it's only comments. Yeah. Only chat. No one asked for anything, I, you know. I listed uh, a question to be in there. Okay. That David? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's the question? Oh, for the... To, to do a scan or a healing. How are you guys doing? Good. Okay. I'll send you some email.
you feel that, David? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Feel, feel good. I feel hot. Yeah, really. Using the emerald crystal. <laughs> Did you do a scan? Yeah. Yeah. Sent healing as well. Mm -hmm. I didn't get any any um, messages on any anything in particular. Mm -hmm. oh, that can be good news. Yeah. yeah. And um, everybody got the mineral download. Dave. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, uh, Siobhan. Siobhan Karmodi. She had she uh she she will healing uh she had kept, uh, she had posted earlier but I did not see it. Okay. Any question. Okay. One more. We got another one after that. We got Fred who's gone, okay. but he had anger issues. But we can send him healing anyway. Okay. Um, I'm trying Sorry. to get my video on. Sorry, <laughs> I had turned it off. I'm not sure how to. It has a picture of um, the camera usually. Oh my God. Are you on a laptop or a phone? Yeah, I'm on the laptop and I went to start video um, under settings and then I'm just, sorry, I'm not. I see myself in the settings, but then I don't know how to. On the bottom left? Uh-huh. It says video it has a picture of the video yeah oh <laughs> hi there can you see me uh, now yeah no yeah there, there you go. go yeah we can <laughs> i'm so sorry to keep you at this is my first time and i'm i really no, no that's okay. all right usually they're not this long but we have uh, we had a lot of people come today our, our, our longest is 10 past 12 so yeah, end of hour so we're not going to beat our record then. Our record. Yeah. He's trying to beat records today. Midnight in the UK. It's uh. Yeah. Let's see, four fourteen uh, where I live. I have midnight too. <laughs> oh. So Sophie moans at our videos if they're too long when they're two to three hours. Yeah. So. <laughs> He does our videos for us. Poor Sophie. She won't be happy with this one. <laughs> yeah. It'll be split in two videos this time. Yeah. Okay. How do we say your name? Siobhan. 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 Okay. All right. <laughs> um, I'm not sure. I, I have two, um, what I consider pretty major issues that I'm I'm not sure how much to go into them or um, how to, this is my first time, so I'm not sure. <laughs> Siobhan, let's see, Father is saying, should he, do you have a skin issue? Um, not particularly, no. Um. Okay. He's showing me something to do with your skin. And blood. <laughs> Show me like a leukemia, like a blood disorder. Yeah, I've had... Um, Go ahead. Go ahead. I've had um for I've been trying to figure out all year. Um I'm extremely, extremely sensitive to the shedding to the point where I've had to leave my acupuncture business and isolate for six months. And it's like my body's a biosensor for it. You mean, you mean the people that have gotten the vaccine there? And I bled mm. for I hemorrhaged for four months and all my muscles atrophied. I don't know how I'm alive. Um, okay. So, so basically you haven't had the vaccine, but anyone else who comes near you, you have problems. 
Yeah, if I'm in, if I'm in, I've gotten to the point where I can now run to the grocery store and, and do a grocery shopping. But if I'm in the same room with someone, even if I don't know if they're vaccinated, even if I think everybody's unvaccinated, which happened at Thanksgiving, um, if I'm in the same room with someone 10 minutes, I'll, I'll start spotting, I'll start bleeding. Um, like within 24 hours. Well, what they do say is after four weeks of them having the vaccine, it goes off. But would you do it even when they've had it for months before? Sorry? Uh, they say that the shredding takes three or four weeks and it goes. Is that true or not? I, I think they don't really. I think some people... I think they're guessing, yeah. They're guessing yeah, that. If it's incorporated into the, um, the RNA and then the DNA, then they're constantly producing whatever it is, yeah. right? And, and I mean, I don't know if I can say all this stuff if you're gonna put this on YouTube. Because or... I would say more, but I don't know. I don't want you to get in yeah. trouble. No, it's a problem. No, we're not worried about getting into trouble. <laughs> um, I've been... I do have... A suspicion. Can I just put this out there since I haven't been able to tell anyone really? I, yeah, my, my my gut's been telling me that it's something either to do with my blood type or my genetics, because um, I have a rare blood type, and um, you know, like O negatives, um, they don't have the same antigens on the blood surface, and they also reject any other you know DNA or other blood types, and if that's in the vaccine then I'm thinking maybe my body's rejecting it the same way I would reject a child that isn't my blood type. I don't know if that's out there, but that's just a feeling I've had. I honestly can't figure it out. I, I thought- do you, after do, you, do you want it to, so you can go near a vaccinated person and be okay? You want me to try and change, change in that way? I mean, I guess kind of, sort of, not like I, I want to be, um, but at the same time, I have all this, you know, fear of the future coming over me of like, I'm having to give up my acupuncture business. I don't know how I'm, how I'm supposed to contribute to the, you know, enlightenment of the earth if I can't even be around people. So it's kind of like, what is my future going to hold if I can't be around people and work? Yeah, well, well, I'm being told if I can upgrade your aura field it might be a block it out. Yeah. I've never done this before, so I'm going to try, but you've got to tell. Hmm? Yeah, because she, she, I've been around vaccinated people from through this whole thing, and I'm not vaccinated, and I've had no issue. Yeah, No issue of shred. And you're the first person I met <laughs> with any issue like this. I've heard, yeah, of, I've I've heard of a few. No, I've heard of a few. Um, on my uh, conspiracy <laughs> groups. Yeah. <laughs> I've yeah. Heard of a few. yeah. The, the mam.org, um, Millions Against Medical Mandate, they, they conducted a survey and thousands and thousands of women filled it out that are going through stuff like me. And they actually found that there is a, a set group of women that are extremely reactive mm. versus other people that can just have minor. So it's just because <laughs> it's literally. Um, censored everywhere so you know yeah. you're not you have to really but but there's i don't know if it's censored everywhere because there is a whole thing on this mm -hmm. that i think are there's fear mongers for everything that are going out there and saying oh there's shedding you're going to get shedding and mother and i went you know you could get anything if people are going to start a fear group about it right and i had it for four months before even knowing that it was a thing so i know it's not in my head right you know, like Right, and, and, and I, you know, I, and I believe you, so I'm not disbelieving you. Yeah, yeah they, you need to go and tell me, you need to go and telegram to get the information like that. Anywhere else, and it, it gets blocked. I know that. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, but I don't, you know, I don't want people thinking that everyone's going to get the shedding issue. Oh, no. That's what if, I'm wondering. Like, I'm just trying no. to figure. There's, there's very few that are getting the shedding. Well, it, it does sound like your blood type, doesn't it? Yeah, it's very rare blood type. But let, let me see if I can upgrade your aura field. So let's know what you can feel with this. 
never done this before. Did you feel out there? I think I felt a little bit of a release. Yeah, you got a protection. I don't know if it'll work. I don't know how good the protection will work, but it's in, in your, it's will weaved into your appeal. Thank you. Yeah, you. Hopefully. Thank you. All right, you also, I don't know if you believe in aliens or not, but you're, you're starseed, Hattorian, and that's why you got red blood. There you go. I'll pick that up as well. Did well, you pick out? Did you pick out Deb? About the Actorian? Yeah. No, did Deb pick anything up then? Apart from a T. Yeah. Actorian. Uh, Actorian's a clever one, don't they? You know, the oh. Very serious, so that's the only problem. I was I was told uh, recently in a reading I was an incarnated angel and I, I thought that was interesting how she had said earlier how they have a lot of extreme issues mm -hmm. well, you can be uh, um, an angel. you are an, you are an angel she is yeah. an actorian as well not bad Nearly got the full set. <laughs> hmm. Which one? Which angel? Hmm. She's no, she's an angelic. She's not um, one of the archangels. I think mean, you're yeah, connected to any of actually. Or you feel somewhere. connected? Could be any of or any is it any of? But it could be someone close to her. No. Hmm. 
So I'm just getting angelic. You said Arcturian? Yeah. You so she has great. a life. She has well, a life. No, she has she has a lifetime as an Arcturian? Yeah. No, I don't disagree at all. Why would I disagree? <laughs> no, I could have got it's gained weight. <laughs> I don't I was trying to work out the name. I just, I'm about ready to eat this plastic bag. I haven't had anything all day but water. Yeah, I was, I was trying to get the name. I can't know. It's that's the away team. <laughs> it's the others. Arcturian. I said, I was trying to get it. Yeah. I knew it wasn't one of the close ones, one of the clever ones. It's so good about to be Arcturian. <laughs> I, I'll tell you what, if you were looking at a partner, what a great method to know if the person's like so or not. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. It'd be a good way to method. This could be your body system. Yeah. Right. Um, <coughs> would, it, would it be okay to ask about my other issue? I, I feel so bad because I know you need to go. No, that's all right. What's your other issue? Um... So um, I have this, this disorder called PMDD, uh, premenstrual dysphoric disorder, another rare, un understand not understandable disorder. And um, basically, um, I believe it came from early um, child abuse that I can't remember. Um, but basically every month, um, so now that the shedding is, subsided and I'm finally getting back on my cycle um every um time I start ovulating and release progesterone my brain has an allergic reaction to it and um it makes it makes me very suicidal you know and I know that it's just the chemical because like I could be still you know still meditating going along just fine and then I happen to look at the calendar like why am I feeling like that and it's always on exact set days throughout the cycle and um I just don't know why um how to heal it the, the way to heal that is you I, I would recommend if you had a close friend nearby if you're doing this you've got to go back to your timeline to when you got abused just after and you've got to say to your uh, younger self that you're going to be okay and give yourself a, a, an hug forgive the person who's done it because then you 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 uh, release ownership of it you you own it at the moment you still own it even though it's not your fault you've got to go back in time there'll be tears and everything and you've got to forgive the person who's done it and send send love energy to them on the way it's very difficult very hard i understand all that but then you're breaking the connection then you give yourself a big hug and just say it's not your fault you're going to grow into a wonderful uh woman and that's how you you cure yourself of it it's very difficult am i able to do that without the memory because i've had like quantum hypnosis um all kinds of deep hypnosis that doesn't really work on me. So I, I don't have the memory to go back to, but I, you know, I do try to visualize what you're, you're saying, but imagine I it, imagine it, imagine yourself at okay. one, at another way of doing it is from the, how old were you roughly between five and 10, not to 10 and not to five. I don't really have any memories before age nine, but I think most of it was probably around age three, which is interesting because I, I, I think I might've been a walk-in at age three, um, which I don't understand why you would walk in at such an early age. Um, what I would do uh, for me, your age of naught to five and also your age to five to 10, because you don't know which one it is. Write to your younger self with your 
right hand, get a reply with your left hand from your younger self, yeah? And uh, I do it in them two stages. And afterwards, go to a special place where, where, where you know, put them in envelopes and burn them. Okay, I've been thinking about that. Yeah, and burn it. Release it by burning it. Yeah. And do that for zero to five and five to 10. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's not really zero, probably. Yeah, yeah. zero to five won't be. It won't be zero at one, will it? But, I can't see that being that, but you never know in this day and age. But yeah, zero to five and five to ten. Uh, but also, also go back in time by by intent if you can't visualize it. But you can you can make a bit up and do that. Send the person who's done this away uh, with love. Break it. You don't own it, and then give yourself a big hug. To say it's not your fault because your your part of you thinks it's your fault in that era and it's not. Yeah, somehow it's in the brain. It's and that's what's creating that the problem. Okay, so there's two. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't worry about saying anything. Here. We know spiritual it doesn't matter. We we know these things have happened and it's terrible. Yeah. Okay. But, but if you do the, if you do the go back in time, I'd recommend if you know anyone, a friend who's close to you, I'd recommend them to be there in case, you know, in case you need help. Yeah, because you might be crying all night. Yeah. So. <laughs> I'm used to that. <laughs> yeah, okay. Just okay. visualizing. <laughs> Through visualizing. With intent. I should play. Okay. It's awful to say that, but you've got to go back in that time to heal. And but basically, what you're doing is you might have broke some of your soul fragment. It's still mm -hmm. there, and you've got to coax it back with love. And all because I know. Like yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Do you want a card, by the way? Yes, please. <laughs> We're going to be that five, uh, another half an hour and we've made it. We've beaten our record. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tell us when. Woohoo! Do you yeah. know, do you, now, Man United started when I did this. So I always got the timing wrong. And the highlights were just finished. So, no, oh, never mind. Ah, nature. <laughs> Yeah. It's the only thing keeping me sane. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it keeps you sane, that actually, nature. Connect with nature more every day. Yeah. To heal yourself, you need to connect to nature, nature as well. Thank you. All right, thank you. I think Cindy Jampo is the last one. Hmm? Cindy, Cindy. Cindy. Cindy who? Oh. Already did Cindy. Yes. Oh, I I had asked earlier. Uh, my son was wanting a reading. He was here. Um, right here. Hello. Hi. Hi, Cindy. How you guys name? doing? I'm Fred. I'm Fred. I'm Cindy's son. I was okay. just wanting uh, to do yeah. just like a overall reading or scan, you know. Oh. I haven't really, I'm not experienced. Time. I'm not, uh, it's like my first time. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, you need, is there any particular healing you need or just healing? What's that? Is there any particular I, healing you need or just healing energy? Cindy, your screen went. Uh, I was mainly uh, trying to see uh, like uh, attachments, like if I had any, any attachments. Um, Cindy, just any implants, like bad blank. energy following me. 
Yeah, your screen's gone up. As you got it, Mom. There. The, 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 they said the screen went off. Oh. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Well, back off again. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry about that. I'm so sorry. Yeah, we need to see your energy. So your face okay. is just your energy. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. Right. Yeah, I got my headband. You know, I thought you were putting a mask on me. We don't, we don't need masks. Yeah. No, it's like we don't need no. your mask on. No. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Fred, you do have an attachment. Do I? Mm -hmm. yeah. You have one on your back. My back does hurt a lot. Then, uh, it's not. It's not an. It's actually an implant. On the bottom of his spine, just above the root chakra. You feel tired a lot. You feel worn out, yes. tired. Yes. The Very. Implants tend to take your energy away from you. Yes. This one's a newer one. It's it's weird looking. Hmm. It's white and Can you push that? It says area 51. Is that weird, Phil? Mm -hmm. It says area 51. <laughs> Can I just kill these quick, quickly? What? I'm just getting rid of the. Uh, I'm at the. Yeah, it looks more like a spaceship there. I, well, that's what it's it like says. It says. It, when I when I looked at it and I said, "Okay, where are you from?" It said Area Fifty One. <laughs> wow, you hear that, mm -hmm. man? That's crazy. So you're saying I'm like, oh my yeah, god, the implant. the implant, okay? Because 
Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to talk too much. I'm kind of intuitive like my mom. I'm just not, uh, I don't practice it. But no. I, I, I feel I'm like an empath and I feel certain things and I felt like I, I have, uh, it's like bad energy or something following me here lately or maybe it's me. I'm not sure, you know? Well, this thing, um, I've never seen one like this. Mm. Uh, but a few minutes ago, we had we we saw this <laughs> antique one. Mm -hmm. That, that um, but this one's not an old one. But it's just it's a newer one. It's an yeah. odd, odd looking one. Do you want to scan? Right. Scan him again. Yeah. Yeah. Scan him again. He's got something else. <laughs> He's got something else. It's at the top it, of it. It was it was linked to a spaceship to Area Fifty One. It's both. Yeah. It's not there now. Come yeah. Well, what's at the top of his back? Is that just wiring from it? That or something? Antenna. That sounds so weird, doesn't it? <laughs> it's a, what? It's like an aerial. It's more. Uh, sort of thing. Glad it won't from Orion, anyway. Yeah, the beings that uh, were using plasma tech uh, were green. They're, they've been brought in. Wow. Your back, your back should be okay now. Uh, oh, I that's into, good. I actually asked you to travel into the implant. I'm going to see the side of it and then close right. it that way instead of because they'll just plant another one. They're obviously taking wow. energy for a reason. And when you, get you said hot, take it. They're taking the energy for because you probably got the energy they want. I think. Right. A good white energy, you said. Yeah. So that's a good thing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's good that we removed it. Okay, because yeah. Uh, my mom and my sister have kind of feel pushed it along to that because I don't know. It's just been something to where it's i don't know just negative uh energy and i try very hard to be positive and it's just something's uh not yeah something's just not been right lately and i know when something's not right because i feel it in my gut so mm. i appreciate you guys just reading your time and your energy just um, one, if that's one, yeah one thing have you had the vaccine or not nope um not i'm totally I'm, I'm just against. i'm just trying to find yeah. out how you've had the yeah. implant that's so. all because I, okay. I, I've, I've done healing on someone and they, where they had the injection, it started vibrating and the mm. person could feel it. So I think it, some of them are having fun. I just wanted to check that. Yeah. That's really I, don't, I don't get any flu shots or uh, since I was younger or anything like that. I just not, I'm not really, uh, I don't like putting things like that in my body. I don't know. It's, you know? Yeah. I don't know what it is, honestly. Mm. I'm the same. Uh, last injection I had was when I was uh, very young. Five of yeah. Them. I want to say I was probably 10, I think. Yeah. yeah, probably 10 when I had a flu shot. You know? Yeah, I think I had a tetanus at 18, but the, the nurse who gave it me was very nice looking. So I, yeah, I, I, I'd have that for anything at that age. <laughs> you probably had to have a lot of a lot of shots. My dad said it was like eight shots, uh, and he was older, a lot older, like in the sixties. He said his brother Steve had to have what ten shots for the fitness. Yeah, just one. one, right in his stomach. Mm -hmm. 
It is. I'm not, it's when she said, take your pants down. <laughs> She's nice looking. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, she was on her own. 18, typical teenager. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I get it. Yeah. All right. All right. How, how is your back now? Does that feel better? Have you had a release? Can you feel a release? I f I feel better. I feel the release because I'm uh like I'm hearing firsthand what, and I'm very receptive. So I'm not. Um. Yeah, it feels better. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> it's just a lot to take in, but yeah, I, I, yeah, it makes sense. Mm. <laughs> but I, I, I I channeled it to a, a spaceship, but the spaceship was connected to Area Fifty One, so it was like a loop, like a triangle. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. Hmm. Little, identi little identifier yes. on it was a little little lie, Area Fifty One. <laughs> <laughs> no i'm i'm deeply into that like uh aliens and stuff uh like all the i like all documentaries mm. so i have you know well someday it may so be it, about you the, the ones the ones <laughs> i saw the, the ones i saw are supposed to be the good ones but they weren't so they they're contractors they contracted them in aren't they Swine. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. They're just telling me what you're saying because it's a little I'm a little hard of hearing. That's crazy. Yeah. But the, the green ones are like a dromeda. There's a green dromeda and a, a white dromeda. Because the green is they were pulled in from the planet that exploded. They were they were rescued and put on this planet, and the green was from the, the green of the was the from the planet's minerals. So mm -hmm. well the ones I saw were green, I didn't I haven't seen any dark energy yeah. before. So. You, know, it's, you live and learn don't oh, you? back up. It's unstable. Yeah. 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 Okay. I'm sorry. It's just cutting in and out. I'm sorry. I hear it. That's yeah, all right. It's, it's 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 a phone. We get it. All yeah. right, so I want to thank everybody for hanging okay, in there yeah. with us thank on you. this very long, long day. Yes, thank you very Seven, much for your time. Yeah, 17 more minutes than we've been on the you. record. Uh, yeah. what, what, today's yeah. record? Yeah. No, the record we beat today? Dad, Dad, what, what are you having for tea? I have no idea. Yeah, just trying to pull the time up there. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Have a wonderful holiday this month. There are no more healings until January now. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. We'll see you okay. in January. See you guys. Thank you. See ya. Bye. Love you. Bye. Bye.